Oh, yeah. I, I know that. I can't. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Good evening. Hello. <laughs> Audie is... I, I would say Audie is still here, but it's more like you're back. I, I keep coming back. <laughs> back. Yeah, we were, we were all uh, further north in the state for business. There's been pictures floating around that we met up. We all met up. Yeah, John was here. A couple John days ago. was here. We just like it's 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 too bad we missed like the timing to have like the epic all in person John, <laughs> Audie, Corey, me stream. We have to choose between everyone eating Bojangles or everyone streaming. We chose Bojangles. Yes. So. <laughs> And I made we made the right choice. We did, yeah. we did. <laughs> but next time we'll. Start. How, how did you feel about the Bojangles, Corey? I never got your take. Uh, I feel like it was the the pickle is what brought the whole sandwich together. I think. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. have you ever had Popeye's chicken sandwich? No. no oh no. my gosh. Uh, I mean, the Bojangles one is good, but the Popeye's one is is it is the top. Uh, but I I know she well, did go for the. By me, but I just I I've never. On there. Oh, you should you should try the sandwich. It's it's quite excellent. Yeah, it's not too bad. That's but man, John devoured that Bojangles. It. Yeah, he, like he was spot. just dipping into that honey mustard hard, and he he was hungry. We were all hungry. You know, I I've known John for a long time, and I spent a lot of time with him. And if he likes something, he eats very much like Homer Simpson eats. <laughs> <laughs> well. I, I take that as strong approval from John. He, I know now. I know he wasn't faking it. No, no, John never fakes it. <laughs> I spent a long time with him. <laughs> that that love of Bojangles was was honest and true. Oh yeah, well, Bojangles. Oh, Bojangles. Is good. There's no Bojangles tie-in game yet. There no. should be. No, I mean, yet. what 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 game would you reskin to be a Bojangles game? You mean like a Yonoid situation? Well, like a Yonoid. <sighs> Panic um, restaurant, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But it's too much it's too much like different food in that, I guess, because Bojangles only sells chicken. I would yeah. do like a Bo Jackson MLB bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bo Jackson. Bo Jangles and By the way, Bo Alan's uh... like like first name Bo, last name Jangles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, how is the audio balance, everyone? I mean, not that I trust what y'all say that much, but I just like some thought on since, you know, we're miking a person in this room that is not normally miked in this room. Is that microphone pointed toward you as directly as it could be? Do you need to tilt it down a little? Do you think it's okay? It's probably okay. I think it's okay. People haven't said like Audie's way too low yet. Yeah. It, it'll happen. People, but... people seem to be pretty, pretty satisfied in that they're not saying anything. I think they're just happy we're on since we're so late today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were, we were pretty late, yeah. But yeah, sometimes it happens. Oh. Corey is quieter? Uh, I mean, I can turn it up if I need to. It's a little bit of an I can echo. Like that. Turn it up a little bit. So there's probably going to be, be an echo. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be an echo for me because I'm very loud. Audie mm. is very quiet. Mm. And I have to have Audie's microphone turned up. A lot more than my microphone, which means his microphone is probably picking me up just as loudly as my microphone. <laughs> I mean, is. I could try to sit a little bit further from you, but I'm out of Well, frightened. that's not going to yeah. change. I gotta, I gotta yeah, it's get fine. Close to the microphone. I just don't want it to like be jammed all like it's covering up my face. If I could go like this, yeah, I just move it closer, about... maybe. I don't know, or maybe move your webcam. I don't know. Yeah. Well, well I don't know if Audi necessarily <laughs> need to be closer to his mind. Now you've just moved it closer just to like me. This. I, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to be comfortable within, within this setup. Okay, do what you do what you want, to do. So let's play some hook. Man, we can't even see Corey now. <laughs> uh, I need to switch scenes. Let's do that. Look at Sony Image Soft. My 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 kids are upstairs, like making a ruckus because they're watching. Is it cake? Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never know. Oh, okay. Are you guys familiar with Is It Cake? You've no. explained it to me before. Uh, I feel like they were they stole the idea secretly from me because I said one time that what if you opened up your PC Engine and in in, you know opened up the briefcase and it, and it and it didn't work and that's because someone replaced it with a cake that looks exactly like it. And, and you you, you had that idea before 
you ever uh i probably i probably had that idea while they were making the show oh okay okay i see i just saw, I saw yo yo yoshio of course <laughs> oh how could yes. we it only takes a few minutes and he's here <laughs> what uh, there's two dollars from yo yo yoshio yo yo yoshio you. saying uh uh, we're playing some obscure licensed SNES games. There are some real gems. Alien 3 is a real gem on the SNES. Amazing graphics and audio. Yeah. Uh, much better than the movie. Jurassic Park also had had a great game on the SNES. Yeah, the Jurassic Park game has really good soundtrack on Super Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, and Alien 3 is like a... It's not a Metroidvania, but it's a very open-ended action yeah. game. It has some incredible audio design for Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. But I think it gets too formulaic as it goes on like there's no like real climax to alien 3 right you just kind of finish it so this though i would argue it's not that obscure hook was a big movie um this game was pretty popular when it came out at least in europe for me so and it's a really good game it's one of my favorites on super nintendo yeah so uh, Audi's been trying to convince me to buy this for a while, and I finally did the other day. It was actually quite hard to find. We've been looking for it. Surprisingly, yeah. Yeah. Now, what's tricky about this, 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 this I, I played a bit of it uh, the other day, uh, actually before we found it. Yeah. I played on the SD2 SNES. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're playing the cart that I bought now. But um, I, I had a pretty hard time getting past this first level. Uh, it's... Just like that, it's uh, the game has a steep learning curve because you start off, you <laughs> move very slowly, but you build momentum. Yeah, yeah. Right, but it's it's a two button game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, yeah. I, I was just while well, I was looking at my phone, I was I was looking up the controls just to make sure I wasn't I hadn't overlooked any mechanics. But it's basically yeah, just attack and jump, uh, and you can hold the. Um, you can hold the B button to fall more slowly. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, you'll be able to fly later, too. Well, when well, you run into Tinkerbell, she gives player. you flying power. Yeah. Right. Um, I was saying earlier that I, I played this on stream when we did the the Child's Play Marathon. Which I like, totally forgot you are done. I, 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 I mean, obviously, I, I was playing games, too, so I wasn't watching it. Right. You were probably playing Panzer Dragoon Order. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> Adi, do you know that about that? No. So when we did this child's play uh, marathon, oh. it was it was a 24 hour marathon, and we were trying to finish as many games as we could. Right. And Try was on the last boss of Panzer Dragon Dragon Orda for like 12 hours. Like, oh. I I'm totally serious. He. I don't think it was that long, but it was. It was. It was. It was. It was, it was, it was maybe ten. It was. It was. It was like like eight hours. I mean, you were playing. You were on it for a long time. I was on it for a horribly long time, and the only reason it, it may was, as well have been twelve hours. It may as well. If I had restarted the game, I would have spent less time on it. Yes. Uh, basically, I didn't understand until much later how the like dragon leveling up system worked. And I, my dragon was really too weak for the end of the game. That was, that was the problem. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll concede maybe there was also some lack of skill. Uh, it, it played but it's out. definitely about like, you know, you didn't, if you power up the, uh, you know, like the, the heavy dragon, it's a lot easier. Yeah. Speaking of lack of skill, try. This game is hard. <laughs> it's, it's hard to get into the groove with it. And I Not would really. say that like the first level might be one of the hardest in the entire game. Uh, it's a little bit unpredictable compared to the other levels. The forest right. level two, it starts off pretty. I mean, it, yeah, it doesn't really ramp up much. It basically starts as it ends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, that that level two um, had a had a health up early on. Yeah, yeah. So you can uh, level up your character a little bit. But yeah, he's he's not super um, agile, for sure. Hmm. I think he's pretty. I mean, I kind of like the floatiness of his jumping. I I, I do too. I mean, the mechanics are unique. I'm I'm always I'm always down for, for also, a game that feels a little different. If if you can learn it and then feel that you're playing it quite well. Also, the level design 
it's kind of laid out that you need to have enough flexibility and like uh, kind of maneuver as you fall down, mm -hmm. especially later. This first stage, not so much, but under. I don't I remember when I was his, like when he does the running. Yeah, when he gets the running jump and he jumps. Like yeah. I love his uh, the sprite for that. Now there's oh, a like. There's a sort of spiritual successor to this that I didn't know about. Skyblazer? Skyblazer. Yeah, so it's... I told you, <clears throat> but in Japan for this game, there was an encyclopedia released, believe it or not, called Hook Super Famicom Encyclopedia, which has all the information you need about this game and more. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the end of that, there is actually a interview with Ukiyote, which is a developer of this. And in that interview, they mentioned that they already started planning for Hook 2, which at the time, I think, was announced or was planned by Spielberg. Mm -hmm. Because they did assume that a Spielberg movie in 1991 and 92 was going to be big business. Yeah. Continue on. Mm -hmm. uh, this wasn't a huge success, as far as I remember. But yeah, I mean, I've always heard people down on this movie, but... Yeah. I, I love I this movie. It. I Do you have it. to fill up your meter. Oh, what are you doing? I, this game, you know, it, it has a learning curve. I've been saying. <laughs> but yeah, so it's not as simple as what it if they're like, oh my god, we killed Peter Pan? <laughs> well, so does Spielberg. <laughs> oh my god! But uh, yeah, so the movie came out wasn't a big success. Um, no. Though I maintain I, that the movie I is fantastic. I love that movie. Uh, I watched it not too long ago. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so they turned the work that they had started on Hook 2 turned into Skyblazer. So. And now I tried that on the SC2. Now that's... This is a moderate... Becoming a, a moderately pricey game. It's, it's getting close to $40. This is? Yeah. $40. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, uh, just under $40. I was surprised right. 30 to 40 I mean, I thought this was a pretty common game. I mean, I grew up with it, and two of my friends had this game when we grew up. So, at least in my neighborhood, in downtown Norway, uh, it was pretty <laughs> popular. Yeah. Um, but Skyblazer has a much is much easier to get into than this. Yeah. Uh, the the character moves much faster. The speed thing is kind of weird to me, because I think the game's overall layout is very well suited to the speed. Uh, but I do remember a channel that I deeply love, and even contributed to for a couple episodes, being GameSack. Uh, mm -hmm. When they did a review on this, that's probably their worst review they've ever done, because they keep just talking about how Peter Pan can't run in this game. He can, and, but it's... It, it, yeah, you know, but it, you, he can. It's build-up. But they didn't know that and clearly played it for five minutes. And <laughs> I had a bit of an issue with that. But I do love Game Sack still. Uh, I'm trying to find out how much I paid for this. Oh, you know, you have like a... Um, oh, yep, yeah, I'm looking at it right here. Um, so I, I was just looking through my old... Uh, just through my email. Looked mm. for uh, Hook SNES. It looks like I bought this on March 26, 2013. Wow. And I paid oh. $8 for it. Wow, that was quite a while ago. You don't have Skyblazer, do you, Corey? I don't. Have you ever tried it? No. It's, no. uh... It's, wow. I mean, I, uh, I, that's I, a future stream right there. Then. I tried on the S2S and the SNES, and it's quite good, but Video Game World I have for $130. Yeah. yeah. Which is the... That's actually a good price for it these days, so... No. I have the Japanese version boxed, which is... An extremely rare game. I was tempted, but I had already bought a few sort of pricey mm. games this week, is which is what happens when Audi hangs out. And I'm moving <laughs> here. Oh no! <laughs> so. Oh no! Well, there will be a, enough of a distance buffer that you won't like go completely. It's only, oh, it's only a couple. I don't hours. remember having this attack when I was yeah when you have a full uh, full health. Um, you have like it's the Zelda. Zelda was that available on the previous level? Uh, no. I really love the music in this game. Especially these arrangements for Super Nintendo. Yeah. I, I was... I, I was telling Audi before the stream started, I'm like, this is Satoshi Sakamoto, isn't it? Is it is not. It is uh, it, Fujita Harumi. It, it sounds so like Sakamoto, but it's been so long since I've seen the movie that I couldn't remember um, that... Oh. 
yeah. that uh, these are some of the, at least some of these are compositions from the movie. Right. Well, yeah, um, a lot of the music is arrangements from John Williams' scores. Mm -hmm. And if you actually play the Sega CD version, or if you play the MSU One version, I guess now um, it actually uses the um, film score directly, which is yeah. an interesting conversion. But I do think the Super Nintendo One is better overall, even without like the film Super music. I still need the Sega CD version, but it came in the cardboard box, which is always right. Yeah. Okay. I do not have it. Yeah, I've been I looking for a good copy of that forever. You know, the the music is certainly a lot better. I mean, it's yeah, you know, the real music, but I I think that the game it look look nearly as good. Uh, it's very washed out because yeah. that's one of those games that famously, I think in the like ninety two or so there was a. Um, a service or like a application which could convert Super Nintendo to Genesis Palettes. Oh wow! Yeah, I talked to who was I talked to? I talked to the developer that had worked on like a few Genesis games, and he he talked about that where like to make it easier, they made like this converter uh, which converted SNES Palettes to Genesis and like accommodated close as closely as it could to Super Nintendo on the mm -hmm. Genesis. But obviously, there's not enough colors. And um, Hook is very much washed out due to that. Because yeah. I do the think... The green isn't as deep. Nah, the, the, you know, it's all, like, really faded. And I think, like, if Pyron, for example, looked at it, I'm sure he could make it look much closer yeah. to the Super Nintendo and make that version, yeah, pretty good. I mean, it plays really well, but... I actually don't think the CD music... Yeah, I mean, Corey was saying it's better, but, like, I... I think the Super Nintendo versions are more fitting this, overall. Yeah, I mean, this is actually a really good... Yeah. The tone of this game is, is good use of Super Nintendo, I feel. Yeah, yeah. But you I, I just remember when, in all the magazines, saying, like, oh, you know, the Sega CD version is the one they get mainly... Yeah. Well, yeah, but but that would, that would music, be but... the attitude at the time when, like... You know, live music and video games, live recorded yeah. music and video games was like such a novelty. Also has voice yeah. acting. Oh, really? Yeah, but not by Robin Williams or Julia Roberts or anyone. It's just like <laughs> random people. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, at this point, you can just play the MSU 1 version. I think that actually brings over the voice <laughs> acting, the John Williams score. Um, mm -hmm. So... If you like this version with the colors, you can actually get both you know, best of both worlds. Uh, I'd see there's a dollar ninety nine from Madonna Sheehy. Thank you. Thank you. Saying excited to watch. Any chance for a Nelly sighting? I can probably make that happen. Give me one second. <laughs> oh, Nelly seemed to really want to be downstairs last week when John was there. Mm. She uh, get that apple I before will. you die. I know. I've, I've been trying to get that apple for many runs, and then dying right before getting to it. I think you beat this level last time, yeah? I It has, like, the three... Uh, yeah, I think I, I got to the boss, trees. at least. I can't remember if I beat him. Yeah, it has the old man that, like, pops out in different parts of the trees. <laughs> All right, get that one up. And I need to drop and down don't, right yeah, from straight there. Down. Whoa. Yep. That's good. Yeah, his his yeah. running jump is very satisfying. Yeah. There's there, there's definitely a, a learning curve to the whole thing though. Yeah. But you, you have to have, you have to have, you have to have a, a running start mm -hmm. to get really anywhere. That uh, that cherry does not look safe to get. Nah, don't try that. If Tinkerbell were in this level, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't think she is unless she's hidden somewhere. No, I don't think she is. But you got a little cherry there, so you got what you wanted. Oh. Here's the boss. Yep. What I did last time was I just kind of... You just stayed in one place. Pretty much, and I only tried again when he was over here. Yeah. Maybe that's easier for you than you, you do as you're comfortable with. Yeah. There he is. Oh, well, yeah, oh. Well, there's also Nelly. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's so much bigger now. Is she? <laughs> the last time I saw her, yeah. Well, she was on. You yeah, saw her was, last she week. She was in such a small window. Like, oh, I couldn't tell. Yes. Now I'm seeing her on a big screen. 
She's just having something to drink, so she's... She's all, like, wet in the face? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at that dog. That is quite a dog. I love that dog. <laughs> Madashi, he is happy. <laughs> Nelly. Come here. Come here. Oh. Right here. Right here. <laughs> so what else did uh, this developer do outside of Hook and um, oh, Skyblazer? Yeah, so it's Ukiyote. So they did, I think they did Jaws on NES if I don't... Really? Oh. Isn't that? I thought, I thought that was a Western game. No, a developed by in Japan. Okay. I might be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure they did Jaws. Is, the Vasquez uh, are bad, right? I mean, that's an uh, LJN it's actually, game. I think that gets lumped into the LJN pile as like a bad game. Mm -hmm. But I think if you know what you're doing in Jaws, it's actually fairly fun. Okay. But that's me. Um, they did Spawn on Super Nintendo, which is pretty good as well. It does look like everything's in black and white, except for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, kind of so funny. Spawn on Super Nintendo is Ukiyote. They did that um, Punky Skunk. That was uh, it's the PlayStation Skunk to the platformer. Oh, that, they they did the whole game, or you, you or they did the Super Nintendo version. Oh well, well, they did both PlayStation and, of course, the Super Nintendo version that was uh, leaked or put on right, online right, right, a while right. ago. So that's them. And they did more, but that's kind of the the big games that they did. So, if you if you like Hook and if you like um, Skyblazer, I think Spawn is mm -hmm. close enough that you could enjoy it. it. Uses like it's a much darker game, but okay. it uses like um, Street Fighter inputs and things like that mm. for the special moves. Not 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 so much my thing. Yeah, I think Spawn is very underrated on Super Nintendo. Um, someone's asking him. Asking if uh, we had ever played uh, Adam's Family on the SNES. Ugh, I, I don't like that game at all. It's so floaty. I feel like a friend might like have rented the, that once. <laughs> I feel like like the one that I played the most was probably like it was uh, I think it was Pugsley's Treasure Hunt or something like that. Pugsley's Adventure or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, the one that's based on a cartoon. Right. The '90s cartoon. I mean, I've I've honestly never really had an affinity for Adam's Family at all. I can't believe you don't like at least a '90s movie with uh, Raul Julia. Well, I mean, I never said I didn't like it. I just, oh, okay. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I've seen it, but I barely remember it. Mm. But, That's yeah. one of my favorite like '90s movies, just because of Raul Julia, because he's the perfect Gomez. Yeah. I mean, he he is always a fun actor. Yeah, may he rest in peace. Uh, I see Andy64 has been a member for six Whoa, months. Whoa, thank you. Thank you. And he's asking, uh, hey guys, I pre-ordered the Sega Genesis Mini 2 today. What are your thoughts on the game list? It'd be cool to have Snatcher in the lineup. So yeah. they haven't, I don't think they've announced all of the games yet, have no. they? I, I, uh, I, I think it'll I, be real interesting to see if, you know, if they go the Turbo Graphics or PC Engine Mini route and have... RPGs on there that are Japanese only because it'll be I'll be curious to see if they get those uh, those translations those working designs translations because yeah, there is you know so three unlikely. or four working designs games on there yeah and but the thing is is if 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 they shows up like then that is definitely like they they definitely got the Sega CD translations if that's the case because there's no way they would put all like they wouldn't put both Lunars uh, Powerful Mail and Bay because Bay wasn't even like that popular of a game in japan i don't think does anyone even know where like it's been years since i talked to vic ireland and they would need to talk to him wouldn't they does oh, he I, own yeah, the rights of those I, translations i wouldn't be surprised if they did uh so know? vic started a new company called Ga uh, gaijin works right 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 uh, but he's I, like kind of done isn't he yeah i like i heard well i heard he's like really in the pinball now oh okay well that's I good for him he's... but like yeah gaijin works i think actually picked like I think they have the rights to the working designs, like actual like translations. So they still need the approval for him or something. Well, Ga I, Gaijin Works, I think, was like owned by Monkey Paw or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. So when was the last time Gaijin Works put anything out? That would... uh, I think that oh, um, there was like, Summon Night no boss. 6 was the last one. Yeah. Whatever the last Summon Night was. 
or five. What I know, um, no, it was six. Lost Borders on the PS4 and Vita. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I mean, I know that for a while there, he was the one that like brokered Sunsoft games on the virtual console. He he ran Sunsoft for a while. Uh, when Sunsoft rebooted itself in the 2010s, that was okay. his. That was his doing. Like Blaster Master, uh, Blaster right Master, Overdrive. Overdrive. That was uh, like he was involved with that. Mm-hmm. And I dealt a little bit with him when I was trying to get the Valus license back in the early 2010s for a different company and a different type of uh, collection, which didn't happen. Yeah. Um, so I remember that he had, because Valus was part of Sunsoft at the time, so... Really? When did that happen? Did they ever do anything with it? No, it was just a holding company. I see. Um, I think there was an idea at some point for a Valus, like, WiiWare slash PSN thing, as far as I remember, but, like, nothing happened with any of that. Hmm. So... I'll probably one day talk about my involvement with Valis, uh, but uh, it went very... <laughs> <laughs> I think I told Corey the story once, uh, but when I worked in Japan at the time, and it led me into very uh, interesting parts of Japan's underground, trying to <laughs> get some of that license sorted, which makes me very yeah. curious um, how they did it for uh, uh, the current license holder. Right. Yeah, I didn't realize that they were making a second one until recently. Or that there was a second one. Yeah, it's been announced already. Uh, It has like four on it, and. I can't tell if there's mermaids in Like the remake of one. They help help you. What is it? Sid of Alice or Side of Alice? Yes, SD of Alice. SD of Alice. SD. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's mermaids. Their their help is. That's not a very good one. (laughs) No. (laughs) Ugh. But I, I don't care for this uh, practice of making like oh, the the like, like, the, the like, split like collections. collections up like this. I've I've quit companies over this uh, <laughs> topic. So like, uh, though not limited run, I am still very much part of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's a terrible practice that like it's just not consumer friendly whatsoever. And I don't think anyone, I don't think any consumer would say they prefer having collections split up on various volumes. Yeah. But, you know, it's, um, it's something where consumers have to speak out and be like, hey, put everything, like, in one collection. Unless, it, you know, Mega Man, I could make a argument for that you can actually split it up into, like, different eras and systems and all that stuff, because there's so many games. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I see that, that uh, there was ten dollars from uh, Tony Escobar with with no message, but thank well, you. Thank you. There was uh, also uh, five dollars from Jonathan Henson. Yes. Saying, uh, hey, Audi, I live seven minutes from Joe, so when you move to this area, let me know if you need a tri stand to go game shopping with. You know, and I'm sorry, Jonathan. I told you uh, that I might have room in my car to uh, take that uh, other Sony CRT, uh, and we definitely didn't have room this trip uh but we'll, we'll get together and uh take care of that that sometime sure uh, I, I i meant to tell you we, when we were going to be at the store uh yesterday uh, oh okay yeah i was going I, I had just in the chaos of everything that we that we were busy with i i totally forgot and i apologize for that i would definitely love to meet people and you know, go game hunting and stuff. So uh, mm-hmm. when I move into the area, I do absolutely reach out. Yeah, so. we'll definitely meet up next time. Uh, uh, I'm I'm either up there in Raleigh, Jonathan, or uh, we'll, we'll, well, how do I get out of this? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I was supposed to let push me as I did. Uh, but yeah, we'll... Uh... <laughs> this is an interesting boss because this is a little bit different from what you've done so far. You have to use your flying uh, and... Yeah... Uh, Dana, Dana the Elf oh, is saying, speaking of Valus, have you all, have you all seen Violent Wisteria? No. Are you familiar with that? No. Uh, no. Oh, it's, it's Not cool. familiar. Is it, was it Violet or Violent? Something about this guy's 
face Violet. makes me think. I don't know. It gives me like PC Engine vibes for some reason. Like he just looks like a character I'd expect to see in like JJ and Jeff, but like much smaller. I don't, know, I don't know why. That's a good thing, though. Huh? That's a good thing. Is it a good thing? Yeah, I like JJ and Jeff. Or Kato and Ken Chan. <sighs> I don't know about that game. <laughs> I, I'm very good oh, friends with definitely. the composer of that game. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Who? Uh, Kunimoto san. I don't know that name off the top of he my head. He did uh, Mylon's Secret Castle. Okay. Uh, Mickey's Mascapade. He oh, okay. Victory okay. Run. Uh, he's, he's still very active and. Could could you recognize could you recognize that with the way I say? Oh, this yes. is so terrible. This game is definitely. But he's one of my main like drinking buddies here, in Japan. Does it, does it show up for you guys? What what game? The the, the violet, violet, violet wisteria. Wait, are you saying it on Discord? Where are you sending? I, it? I mean, I could. Well, where I, are you sending it? I haven't sent it anywhere yet. You said, oh. can I see it? No, no, no. Can I, I said, can I send it someplace? And you oh. guys will see it. Oh. Sure, just put it in, <gasps> put it in oh. Discord. I don't know what that sound was, but... <laughs> that, that was that was pre, pre, preemptive regurgitation over whatever we're about oh, to no. see. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, no, did, it's, did you send it in Discord? I, I sent it in the chat. I can send it in Discord, though. Oh, no, no, I'll click it in the chat. It's right there. I see it. I, uh, are, we, are we just stopping oops, the chat? something went wrong. Are we just stopping the stream to watch a trailer? No. no. I mean, yes. What are you doing? It, it linked me away <laughs> when I tried to click Corey's link. Everything's it, falling apart. Corey's going to direct people away from the stream. I, I, I didn't mean to. Sorry this link that. is not working. Okay. Well, it should. It should. Well, send it to me in Discord because that link isn't working. Okay. Uh, there was five dollars from Demo Kirby. Thank you. Huh? Saying wipe agreed. I need to make friends with all of you to meet Sam. <laughs> yeah. You just well, oh, okay. So this is uh just want to be friends with us because of our dog. Is this, <laughs> this is literally like tracing Valis sprites though. The animation frames are like it's like the exact same number of animation frames. <laughs> I didn't listen to his. his pitch for it there uh, this is a youtuber i think because uh, his face looks somewhat familiar ultra healthy video game nerd yeah not the best yeah. name but like uh, <laughs> ultra ultra healthy. ultra healthy video game nerd I, 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 I am not sure what i think of that uh it needs it it's needs polish yeah sure. it needs work but i think the idea is novel um I mean, anything that continues the legacy of doing, like, a magic girl, a <laughs> magic swordswoman <laughs> like Valis is great. Um, but uh, it seemed to adhere a little bit too much to the limitations of, uh, not even the PC Engine, but, like, even earlier, it seemed like. Um, but yeah, Demo Kirby, we, uh, you know, I, I, told, I told you in the Discord channel that... Uh, the folks at Video Game World told me that they're opening a store in Winston Salem, like pretty oh, soon. Yeah, so, right. we'll uh, we'll need to go game shopping there. Uh, maybe maybe we can meet up when that happens sometime. We did yeah, go we'll to. There on the way down. Yeah. We did go to a few game stores this week. Um, mm -hmm. Down South Carolina, we went to. Um, yeah, we went all the way to Columbia. <laughs> yeah, it is because is, what else were we going? The to? city in South Carolina called Columbia, not the. Country, C correct. We go that of far. Um, uh, but uh, we found what was it called? Old school video game. Old school. Ga it was a super nice store. Very nice store. Very nice guy running it. Yeah, he recognized us, uh, which was nice. Um, I bought NBA Jam and Frank Hurts baseball on Saturn. You, you, we, 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 <laughs> we, we concluded our business baseball. at the store. Yes, and then. We went back in because you're like, I have to get that. Yeah, because at first... Or we call it, you keep calling it Frank Hurst Baseball, now I keep calling it. Yeah, it's Frank Hurst Baseball. It doesn't matter. Uh, I first Frank bought the um, Jammed on 3DO there. And you are very happy with I that. I was very happy with that purchase. Very happy. Um, but uh, then I kind of thought about it. And since we played Frank Hurst Baseball on our last stream, mm -hmm. PlayStation vs. Saturn... 
I was like, I should probably pick that up. Yeah. And then Corey appeared as a spirit behind my shoulder and was like, you should get that. You should get that. <laughs> he also gave he also gave us like a like a loyalty card. Yes, yes. And ah. it was like it was like, well, it was like he he, he he it was filled out like because we like kinda combined our stamps on it. Yeah. And, and so there was a there was a we it was the Wii Turtles game mm-hmm. that I was saying you should get this. You should get that. Yeah, so we've been rediscovering, because I, I bought these as they came out, but the mm. Nickelodeon 2012 Turtle series got a few video games. Uh, Danger of the Use by Way Forward, and um, just straight up TMNT by Magic Pockets, I think they were called. And both of those games are interesting and they're not bad. They're not perfect games. No. Um, but both of them... Um, are fairly okay Turtles games that people just don't really care about. I mean, Danger of the Use has a brilliant Jay Kaufman soundtrack. It was incredible. You know, so yesterday, you were just like, well, I want to watch something, play something. Yeah. I, I thought I was just going to kind of sample a bunch of the games I bought, but I just ended up getting comfy with Danger of the Ooze on the 360, and I played the whole thing yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was uh, it fairly short? Oh, the- yeah. I mean, uh, it was like, five hours i mean also it was a 3ds game originally so you're oh, okay. not really supposed to like sit in a comfy chair yeah. with chair wine <laughs> your whole day and play it so but I that's think, what i did yeah that kind of <laughs> you know i never it was interesting because i i have the ps3 version of that danger of the use we're talking about now and uh, I never really played it beyond a couple hours because I finished it on 3DS first. So you're kind of the, done with it. Yeah, I bought the 3D the PS3 version, and I remember having technical issues, which I was like, "Well, that, like that's weird." I expected a much better presentation on a you know next gen system at the time, and uh, well, yeah, I guess so. Current gen it was 2014. So, yeah, and then you played yesterday, and yeah, it was a little bit glitchy. Yeah, it, it froze two or three times, mm-hmm. and uh, the combat has some decent aspects to it, but overall doesn't feel great. Yeah. Level design is problematic uh, in, in places, but it was, it was okay enough. It was comfy. Yeah. It was comfy. That, that's the best word I have for it. It was a comfy game. Comfy yeah. enough that I kicked up my recliner and played the whole thing. And but you said it was a bit technologically it, anemic. Yeah. It was technologically rather anemic. It was indeed. Well, people will find the source of that comment uh, later this year. <laughs> I yeah. hope later this year. You're you're making a big commitment here. Oh uh, well, I mean, but uh, <laughs> I think one of the reasons also the danger of the use was kind of effective for you was. One, it's a game that, like, has enough of a um, throwback to other Turtle stuff. Yeah, they like, the title screen is yeah. the, is essentially a, a re uh, a reimagining of the NES uh, box art for the first game. That, yeah, or, or the issue four oh, that's cool. uh, cover art. Yeah, um, and it also draws heavily from the first NES game and the yeah. Game Boy games, which I know most people think of the Brawlers when they think of Turtles, as, as well they should, Yeah, but... Um. Uh. But I, I thought it was interesting to draw inspiration from those games because you've got the, uh, you know, rescue the other turtles mechanic yeah, when yeah. they when they quote unquote die. You've got mm. uh, sort of the Metroidvania ish aspect of um, radical rescue. Radical rescue. Yeah. Uh, so very heavy inspiration from those games. I thought that was. Uh, it, interesting yeah the game was actually designed by a good friend of mine tom hewlett yeah so oh. uh yeah it's 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 a really competent game it's a good metroidvania uh with the turtles and soundtrack is phenomenal mm-hmm. um and i don't know i kind of prefer it on the 3ds i think having seen you play it on a piece or xbox the, today. the, the game the game is in context on the 3ds i suppose even yeah. though you said it's targeting th- so it's t- it's targeting sixty with some drops on the three sixty. Yeah. Uh, you said it was targeting thirty with with drops on three DS. If if I remember correctly, because it's been over ten years yeah. now, or almost ten years. Mm-hmm. Um, but like 
I think it's Verdi on the 3DS. I, I, I mean, John disagrees with me, but I, I like, for example, I always was fine with, um, I, I was always fine with, uh, like 30 FPS and Samus Returns. That did not bother me. It bothered a lot of people, but I find that when I'm looking on a screen that small, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The difference between thirty and sixty is a lot less pronounced for me. Yeah, like the like bigger bigger screen, you know, the a character moves m more like in real world space, right? Yeah, per frame. Oh wow, that's that's bad. It's an, it's a fire that freezes you. You see? Yes, I'm not aware of any mythology that has tigers that petrify. I think uh, uh, in John's case, though, he's so conditioned to look yes, the frame rate yes. that I don't think it's weird. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I do. I feel like it would have been fine. Three DS. Three DS is not a system I enjoy revisiting as much as I do systems I can display on, you know, a TV. Though. Yeah, yeah. Like when it comes to the Switch, like you know, it's like oh, I can start this when I'm away from home and I can continue it at home, or 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 vice versa. You know, I I don't. I don't mind the uh, playing games portably on the Switch. I, I quite I quite enjoy it much of the time. Some some games don't work well portably, but um, um, 3, 3DS. There, you know, yeah. Oh, go on. I'm I'm. Brand there brand. was a uh, ten more dollars from Tony Escobar. Oh, thank you. Uh, via the via the Streamlabs. Thank you. Um, saying I actually do have a question. Oh. I, I'm dying to play Lunar, the uh, Silver Star. I wanted your recommendations: Sega CD, Saturn, or PS One. Or GBA or PSP, I guess. Uh, thank you for your suggestion. And keep Audi on forevermore. Forevermore. Forever. Oh, that's very nice of you. Forevermore. Um, for me, I'm, I will say the Sega CD version all day long. Uh, and a big part of that is the music. Yeah. Um, you know, but, you know, it's, it's definitely worth playing them both because they change so much in, in complete. That it's it's well worth trying them both. Yeah, I mean, they... my understanding is they are almost, in some ways, not even the same game. Uh, I, 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 I mean, I've, I've yeah, not I mean, I, I, really like, played either, though. Right. I mean, it, it's like there's it has the same overarching story and a lot of the same events, but you know, it, it there's some major changes early on that I think are pretty cool. But I just I think that the original is it, and granted that is the first one that I played. Good thing both so bosses seem to only take three hits. You talk about Lunar, and yeah, this. Well, and this yeah Lunar. Uh, the question was like, which version to play? Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I just got a text. Uh, okay. Actually, I have an interesting, interesting answer to that. Oh. Uh, when I had dinner with uh, Eva Dada, I asked him which oh, version yeah. he liked. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> He's the composer of the game, uh, Mega CD. Oh, really? So he composed first... both versions, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So. But the music in that Sega CD version is is vastly superior. Mm -hmm. There might be less of it, but it is vastly superior. Well, and you mm -hmm. you really like a track that is you, like your favorite track in the game is actually exclusive to the working designs version uh that's for for two okay in in lunar two like the uh the star dragon tower music mm. is, is so good but it's it's only in the uh the u.s version it's a very fitting last area music piece of music yeah well what did you pick that, that, that's not spoiling anything by the way if you think like, oh, Star Dragon, like, what's that have to do with? Uh, it have anything to do with it. Uh, what category did you pick that track for? Uh, for uh, that uh, thirty game, uh, thirty day um, game music challenge. You picked I that for something, didn't that. you? I don't remember. I feel, I, I'm pretty sure you you must have picked because you you talk about that track a lot. So I feel like you must have used it in that video. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure that I did. Um, I see that uh, Jedi Master is asking when regular episodes will be coming back, and uh, very soon. Like I'm working on. You you one, decided so, to change gears, actually. I changed gears because like I wanted something like a little bit smaller than what my. Well, look setup how he was, like leans against the like tree. Been working. What's that? 
Like if you what? idle, oh, oh, if you idle next to the tree, he leans against it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a custom. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but I will be. I'm doing a uh, a uh, save file pr preservation for like memory cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is an episode we promised a long time ago. Yes. Uh, but, and we said that the tour video will be next. Uh, but, but, it, but it's not going to be. I, You know what? Like, I, I just had a lot of stuff going on. And, you know, like, I, I, I went into it pretty deep, like, a couple of weeks ago. About how, it, you know, I'm just... I just, like, I, feel, I was feeling, like, burned out, among other things. And, you know, I did the... I was working on the uh, setup tour, but I felt like kind of bad, like saying, here's all this stuff. And I hadn't released another episode in so long in saying, Hey, here's a bunch of stuff that I used to make the show. And then I haven't released an episode in, in, in a little while. So I decided to <laughs> do some other things. And I had a, you know, uh, like you wrote a, a good portion of this script before, like a couple of years ago. But yeah, I was, I, I kind of stopped because it. I was feeling overwhelmed by it because I felt like I was getting into territory where you knew so much more than I did. Yeah. So I was able to retool a lot of that. And because there's been new things that have come out, like the Memcard Pro and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was able to retool that script, and that's what I'm working on now. And I also have like a most of a script done for like internal save files. So I might do that like real, like right afterwards. So just back to back. And, you know, like, it, it's also good because I'm feel I was feeling like this setup tour video is going to be going to be really long. And I was like, I, like, I just don't have like getting back into a groove. I need to do like a little bit of like shorter videos. Mm -hmm. What was the last video you released? Like episode? <laughs> the the, your, the pickups pickup. video? But, you well, know, before that was a three hour mystery I, video. I know. Mystery? Oh, okay. The, yeah, but, I mean, that was like the last... The OLED, the old, no, no, the OLED, the OLED review. Oh, that's right, you're right. The Come OLED here, review, yes. Come here, Sandy. Sandy, uh, look! Yes, we'll go into moving look, to look the... Look at the TV. The look, it's Hook. Sandy, look, 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 look. It's Hook. Look, look, so look, that, it's Hook. So that's coming along, and it's... it's oh. it, it feels pretty good, like, working on that. Yeah. So... That's, uh, that's, hey, that's girl. <laughs> ah. So that that will be the next one. And I'll probably do that internal save file like right afterwards because that, that already has like six pages of a script too. And the the memory card script was like five four or five pages yeah but you know it's going to cover playstation uh it's going to cover um gamecube dreamcast um <laughs> i haven't bought uh like an xbox memory unit oh like yeah talk about it for a second because it's pretty worthless like that and the um what's the other thing that i got uh a 360 memory card like I got both of those just so I could, you know, talk about them for a, a second, a few seconds. <laughs> Every level in this game is has a fairly different concept to it. Yeah, yeah so it's going to be like a good 25, 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more of a video. Like, I was just feeling like the, uh, the setup tour was, the, the, the script wasn't completely finished and it was already like, 15 pages you yeah. were feeling pretty overwhelmed yeah even though it's just like filming stuff in here right I, I just felt bad doing that and not having released a regular episode in a while like you know here's the stuff that i use to make the show and i haven't mm -hmm. made an episode in a while yeah yeah well I, I think i think we'll all be able to work on episode our episodes a little, a little yeah bit more soon it, it's the past few months have been pretty crazy with other work but. <laughs> a three hour video on on the do's and don'ts of how to use the gamecube handle would be a great video yeah three hours yeah so uh, didn't someone say a while back that like you're not actually supposed to use it as a handle or something like that 
Like, 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 like Nintendo was true? like, oh, don't actually use this handle as a handle. And it's like, well, the, of, of course you're supposed to use that as a handle. Yeah, I mean, that's it is a handle. Yeah. Specifically in handle. You know, I mean, I've used it to just, like, crack somebody in the skull with it. No. Oh, okay. No. Did, uh... It worked which, rather well. Which, uh, which, <laughs> I mean, but, but did the... They the, almost didn't live. Well, uh, yeah, but I bet you didn't have much of a good condition GameCube after that. <laughs> it's pretty sturdy. Yeah, I will. No, there, it's pretty. It's you ever seen that heat shield in there? <laughs> yeah. I think um, eventually we're we're teaming up for an episode as well. I don't know if you ever revealed what that episode was going to be. Oh, uh, well, I mean, we've had several ideas, but I assume you're talking about the games I'm currently borrowing. Yes. Yeah, you uh, uh, you have a pretty extensive collection of NES, Super Nintendo, and maybe Game Boy games that were our version specifically released in Scandinavian regions. Yes, I think the episode oh. we're planning on doing is it's actually complete, but it will be like every Scandinavian exclusive or localized exclusively for Scandinavia because. Mm -hmm. That was a very small region of the world, but it did get some very interesting yeah. exclusive content, uh -huh. which uh, I don't think it's really been talked about a lot on YouTube for, I guess, good reasons. No one really knows about it. No one's in Scandinavia. Yeah. I feel like he got to hit his head and then hit his body. Yeah. So, but we'll do that because I actually have all of those um, Games and you're borrowing them for this episode. Mm -hmm. so. I don't have all of them here yet. No, but I have to bring the rest yeah. of them when I go home. Cause... Yeah, yeah. Because I'd like to, I'd like to show the actual the real. stuff yeah, for yeah. real as much as we can. Yeah, because some of that stuff I don't think most people even know exists. Mm -hmm. Like uh, they probably know the original game it's based on stuff, mm -hmm. um, but you know when they see it side by side and see the box art, I think they'll be surprised. And the people from Scandinavia... Oh, okay, I have to hit the body while the head is off. Yes, in the air. Yeah. But yeah, I think you probably have other Scandinavian watchers as well, and they probably will get a kick out oh, of seeing... Oh, we absolutely. <laughs> we absolutely do. Yeah. I mean, they've, so, shown up, uh, they've shown up when you've been here at times. Yeah, there, there's been a few times where people come in, so... That's always fun. The uh, Kaz Trophy is from Scandinavia. Oh, Excellent. okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a small place, so... I mean, it's physically large, but so much of it is very cold, so... Yeah. <laughs> so... But yeah, so... Yeah, we had an interesting situation, especially with Nintendo, because we had our own provider, Batiksala, which kind of had an exclusive deal with Nintendo and can do, could do different things than other regions could do, uh, like Germany and things like that, so... We got some interesting exclusives. You might be able to run across him when he's like in bones. When he's like yeah. Well, on the ground. doesn't matter. He's dead. I think. Oh. <laughs> okay, good. You're making pretty good progress now. So now you're getting it, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, just, it, it, it takes... Th that first level is actually a pretty... has a lot of enemies... Uh, some of them take more hits than enemies in later levels. Like it's it's pretty chaotic, but I, I think it's trying to help you learn the ropes. But it's actually a bit much. Mm. See, there's uh, a ten dollar super chat from Robert yeah. Hernandez. Uh, thank you. Saying, uh, Corey, you. don't underestimate how influential your game room tour will actually be. To us, the space around you is just as meaningful as any other Emily gaming topic. And I think he's right. I think you know. I I, I knew people were going to be saying like, oh, but we want to see the game or game tour video but you you were talking about how like <laughs> you were just kind of like well you don't want to say this is you you very much have like an idea in your video of like it partially being about like this is how i make the show yeah i mean that's how it was before like we showed a lot of that and stuff you just before. kind of felt like well but we haven't made but an not, episode i haven't really been using it yeah. well to... neither of us i mean we've we've both been it's it's been challenging for both of us mm. I know, but I like I just felt bad doing that, you know. Mm. Uh, but that'll probably be your next video after you do this memory card thing. Then. Yeah, yeah, and you've already got it, you know, pretty significantly in progress for sure. So right. 
So, yeah, that'll be that'll be the one that follows up on that. Does spikes stay clear to you try? Do they? You're not supposed to jump on them. Huh. Just uh, <laughs> F F one I. Hot tip. Hot tip. Here's the tip. So. <laughs> There's other, we talked about the Sega CD version of this, but there are several other hook um, games out there. Maybe one we'll see later. Uh, but there is the NES and Game Boy games, which is uh, American developed, or UK developed, I forget, uh, which isn't the, uh, the best of quality. Um, the one that I think is really interesting is uh, Amiga has a, like, point-and-click, like, Monkey Island-style adventure oh, game. Oh, that, that's actually a really good fit. Yeah, it, it's really beautiful, uh, but very obscure. I guess most people haven't even seen it. Um, and this game was also ported to Game Gear. Uh, that's oh, right. Yeah. So, and in Europe, there was a planned Master System version of this game, uh, but it was never released, but the prototype is out there. So, really hard I actually have a um, repro at home, fully boxed, hook on Master System. Because I, I love this game so much. Over there? That seems really difficult. But the one that I think is really interesting is uh, there's an arcade game of this from Irem. Really? Yeah. It's a beat em up from Irem. <laughs> right, someone mentioned that. Uh, That's so it, random. The stream was starting. Yeah, it, and it's really good. Uh, beautiful sprite work, uh, pretty heavy hitting like moves. Uh, has never been put on console, sadly, and it's one of those dream games for me. If I could ever do like a hook collection for a limited run or something, uh, get that iron game on there and uh, put it on console for the first time. But uh, who knows? So yeah, there was quite a lot of different hook games. I mean, it was a Spielberg franchise, so I guess like yeah. everyone who could license it did license it. But then it didn't do well. Uh, unfortunately, because I I actually think the movie is really good. I but, think so too. Yeah, I mean, I've, I haven't seen it in a long time, but not really. Yeah, I always I thought it was great. The concept is really good. Yeah, but Robin Williams like does a really good job in that movie he's, too. He's a great yeah. fit for that character. Yeah. It's like um, yeah, it's a really important movie to me in my childhood, but mm. yeah. It's it's one I mean, of those. Where I think about it, I may have only seen it the one time I saw it in the theater. Theaters, yeah. And w do you remember why you didn't like it back then? Um, I just, I probably, it's not that I didn't like it. I was just like, uh, that was okay. Yeah. I guess, and then I just didn't really th think about it. I always thought Bob Hoskins was good as public me. opinion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like made me think like, oh, I must have thought it was bad. Yeah. It's uh, it's weird. I mean. It's, it's it's Phil no Col to knock, but yeah, Phil Collins is in that movie too. He's at the very end of the film. Really? Uh, yeah. For some reason, <laughs> I think that's a movie that really could stand to get like a reevaluation in modern times. I think there's a lot of yeah. themes and t uh, topics like in that film that are very important, and I guess at the time, just people weren't interested in. But yeah, I mean that was. That was kind of the uh, the first Spielberg flop, like yep. post ET, mm -hmm. I guess. And then he came back with a certain movie called Jurassic Park. Yeah, <laughs> that's like all it's right. crazy. It's crazy that those were so close together. Yeah, it didn't seem like that they. It didn't feel like it at the time, I guess. Yeah. Because when did when did this come out? The movie or the game? Uh, the movie. Like I think it was nine ninety one. I think it was the year before the game came out. Okay, so yeah, I mean that. It was it was like Christmas. Yeah. Maybe it was Christmas ninety. Could it have been Christmas ninety? Could I remember been. it being a Christmas movie. Yeah. It, do, it does seem like a Christmas movie. Um, but I guess you know, like Jurassic Park was ninety three. Yeah. So that makes sense then, for that to be like so close together. But you know, I was at an age then that I really grew a lot during that time i guess yeah. that's from like probably fifth grade to like eighth grade you know that's becoming a teenager yeah I guess. so it felt like it was a lot longer than it was i see you have um, there was ten dollars from uh, eb chill 2 
uh, a few minutes ago. Thank you. Saying uh, I can be either Gree on the Switch or Sly Cooper 3 on the Vita tonight. Which one? Have a great week, guys. I'd say Gree. Yeah, I would too. I would too. But in, I haven't really played Sly, any of the Sly Coopers out of, outside of the first one. Same. I do uh, have yeah, I, have, I, I want to, but I, just, I, I yeah. haven't. I think I own the PS3 collection of those. Yeah, that's, that's what I have too. Did you ever get the fourth one? Uh, no, I don't think so. Is that what's? I don't even know what system that's on. That's uh, PS3. Uh, I also um, see there's uh, Guillermo Sousa. Oh yeah, Sousa. Oh, thank you. I, I, I did live day. in Brazil for a time. Yeah, three years. Uh, saying good evening, my dudes. I remember playing this on Mega Drive and not loving it at all. And all fairness to it, it probably was a bad PAL port, rented unknowingly. Greens from Uberlandia, Brazil, which is maybe the <laughs> best name for, like, a town or city that I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> is that real? Uberland. Like, it's, it's very German sounding, I assume? Uberlandia? U U Uberlandia. Yeah. That is, that is what, what, probably a, real. I mean, what a location name. You have, like, Libadagia and, like, yeah, it's probably a place. Uh, I mean, I'm probably a place. So he probably he should know. He's from there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, to the bay. This full screen over here. This level looks similar to. Is this the last level? Like it's the last on the map. I mean, don't tell me that. I'll be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Uberlandia, oh yes, it's real. So, the Mega Drive version of this, I think, actually runs slightly worse than the Sega CD, if I remember correctly. Because there is actually a Genesis version as well. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that, so wait, wait, wait. I mean, the Sega CD version came out, like, like several months later. Yeah, and I think, am I correct in that it's around the launch of the Sega CD, or? Well, I mean, it would have been the first year, I guess. Yeah. Was, uh, of the boxes. So, the, I feel like the game came out on consoles before the Sega CD was out. Yeah. And they may have, you know, uh, announced this beforehand. Hmm. Whoa! There was a $50 Super Chat from Seabass Nap! Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh no, I see, I see there is there there are, 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 are suggestions of things for me to do here. Why don't you read this, Corey? <laughs> They're saying uh, Hook wasn't popular uh, with parents because it kicked out Spielberg's absent, divorced father fetish. He shoehorns into every movie. Uh, by the way, the Southern Fried Gaming, the Southern Fried Gaming Expo was this weekend. A uh, lot of fun. Where Charlotte is that? Shocker, try. Go, oh, damn it! I swear to God. Where was the Southern Fried Chicken Gaming Expo? We is that <laughs> that's something Southern we could have been doing game. today? I wouldn't it be funny if it was the, the Southern Fried Chicken Gaming Expo. <laughs> If that's a real thing. I think thing. it's just Southern Fried Gaming Expo. I like the idea. I, I, I can't worse. say Southern Fried without following up with chicken. It, that <laughs> yeah, was reflexive. Southern Fried, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was that? Yeah. You know, may, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what Audie's feelings on soccer are. Maybe Audie living uh, a, a couple hours away will increase the likelihood that he, I could be dragged to a soccer match. I don't, I don't know. D <laughs> does Audie have any desire to drag me to a soccer match? Seabass Nap really wants me to go to a soccer game. I yeah, the, the one, <laughs> the one yeah, the they, they play against, you know, the Cincinnati game. FC Cincinnati. Um. What, so wait, where is Southern Chicken Gaming? Or I can't say it. <laughs> Southern Chicken Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. It's gonna be like the side channels, like Southern Chicken Gaming. I heard it's a, <laughs> I heard it's a Frank Hurd baseball tournament at the Southern Chicken Gaming Festival. <laughs> Or have you been practicing? Oh, that, should be sure. like, that should be like a, a video where yeah. you just like intentionally say like names. Wrong. People are saying it's like, in Atlanta. Like, like Frank oh, we should go. Frank, Frank or you want to go to Atlanta? My, I mean, you want to go down to that WCW country? I mean, we we, we, we could. All right. There's. I, I remember stopping by game stores on the way back from Atlanta one time. Oh yeah. That sounds like something you keep doing no matter where you've been. So 
Yes, well, especially when you're around, too, mm. so. I mean, I, I, I do have to say that just the fact that it's called Southern Fried... Southern Fried Gaby Ducks. Milk you wanted to say it. You're <laughs> makes me makes me want to go to it. Like, I, 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 I my, the the degree to which I want to go there is directly proportional to how well, we much it is called it. Southern Fried Gaby Ducks. Yeah. Now someone's saying that Atlanta is based. Now, even though I put on a Southern accent when I said that. <laughs> uh, I've been to Atlanta. I've been to uh, the Coca-Cola Museum. Ooh, I hugged wow. the polar bear there. You uh, the <laughs> but uh, I actually love Georgia and Atlanta because, like, uh, I, w I grew up a huge world championship wrestling fan, WCW, mm -hmm. which is based around Atlanta. So I have a lot of affinity oh. for that whole area just because I watched WCW. Hey, what's up, Sandy? Come here. Don't do so this this one up responds when mm -hmm. I go through the door. So I'm kind of gonna grind that up because I don't wanna uh, I don't wanna have to uh, redo this level once I get to the boss. Sandy, do you want to go poop? Is that what your problem is? Do you need okay. to go poop? So we're, you're just gonna you, keep the game pause you, while poop. she poops. She, she doesn't need to poop. She needs to pee. You want to go pee? Well, go. What if I need to poop? Come on, let's go pee. Well, you, you <laughs> poop then it, then it's just gonna be me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you didn't think about that. He never thinks about me and my needs. <sighs> well, then he's gonna be out there, pooping, tries going. That's disgusting. <laughs> uh, Audi SmackDown is Atlanta next week, I believe. Uh, well, I wouldn't support WWE even if they paid me. <laughs> uh, Especially now, things are pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, well, you close of attention, but it, it's just yeah. a bad product. It's been a bad product since two. 2004? I don't know. Like, I watched AEW, um, which is really fun. But, uh, yeah, I don't watch WWE. And I had my run-ins with WWE when I made my book, so. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Now that the now the Tri's out of the room, I guess we can get uh, questions. What's that? Him. Now that Tri's out of the room, I guess you can all ask uh, horrible questions about him. Yeah. Well, there is uh, Michael V. Oh, yeah. He's a member for seven months. Thank wow. you. Uh, so you guys think it's worth trying to get my warping issues fixed in my Trinitron, or should I just try to get a new CRT before they become harder to get? I mean, from what I'm what I'm seeing, it's like they're already like harder to get. Oh yeah, it's very, it's very difficult. It's it's crazy. I mean, I never expected things to be the way that it is now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, have you messed around at all? Uh, with like the service menus at all to try to see what you can do if anything because i always remember right down those values with your hand oh my god there's so, there's so much action here so oh, we're so wound up oh so wound up oh my god there's a dog on my lap there's a dog on my lap so uh there was a couple of questions actually okay um sorry uh go, go ahead cory Oh, no, I just, like, I mean, I would just, you know, I would see if you can fix it and just, like, keep an eye out for a new one. Because, I mean, let's be honest, you're probably, like, looking for a new one, you know, for new ones to pop up like, you should, you, all the time anyways. I think at this point you should always pick up a CRT if it works. Just yes. keep it. Um, yeah. Fill up your rooms in your house like a certain... The uh, Southern Fried Chicken Man here does. So, uh, <laughs> um, but so there was a question: What we ate for dinner tonight? Uh, we had a. We both had a cheddar. Uh, or what, 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 what do they call it? Ch it's a bris cheddar cheddar brisket sandwich at Firehouse Subs. The best sandwich at Fire Hubs. I mean, it's the only sandwich you've ever tried. Fire Did hubs. Fire hubs. <laughs> At firehouse. <laughs> you've all, uh, you've that's only tried one tried sandwich. Firehouse. That's the only sandwich you've ever tried there. Yeah, I. You told me as much. I love firehouse uh, subs, and I, but I've only had one sandwich there throughout all these years, which is the uh, cheddar brisket. I like sandwich. it, but I, I I will say it's not going to become my new regular. Okay, well, that's, that's your choice. <laughs> uh, I, I think you should try other things. Okay, well, what else was there? Uh, I don't know. I can't scroll. But do you see any other silly questions there, Corey? Um. Oh, I realized I hadn't scrolled down. Let's see here. Um. 
There's a comment from Pillow Hacker saying, Every Facebook listing I see for a CRT refers to it as a gaming TV. People are clued in now, it feels like. Yeah. Yep, I mean, like like many things these days, it seems like people are, like, really content on trying to make it as, like, unfun as possible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, there, I see there's a question. Uh... If anyone has seen me and Brian Danielson, aka Daniel Bryan, in the same room, uh, we have been in the same room once, yes. So, <laughs> are, are, are people implying that you might be the same person? Uh, it, from a certain angle, I guess I can look like Brian Danielson, uh, especially if I grow my hair out. There's also a question that begs to be asked, which is Does Try and Audi cook? Uh, do you mean together or separately? Because separately, yes, I cook. Uh, quite a lot. So you, I, I, I have no cooking skills uh, to speak of. I mean, uh, you have a kitchen. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much where that ends. Things happen in there, like microwaving. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I mean, you do have a pretty good supply supply of Belvita. Yeah. Well, yeah, not uh, anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I've. I've you know, he always has, like, these Belveda breakfast Bars. Biscuit, biscuits. Yeah. Well, they're really good, aren't they? Yeah. I, 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 I was saying yesterday that you're the Fresh Prince of Belveda. <laughs> I knew you would laugh at that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Sandy. That, that's such a Triforce joke. It's... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I, I, uh, I, yeah, it's pretty funny, Sandy. So I mean, I'm from. It's, it's pretty uh, funny. I'm from Europe, where you don't, especially where I'm from in Europe, you don't really, um, you don't really eat out much. So I grew up learning to cook from my parents and my grandpa. So I, I, I should have learned to cook, but I, you know, it just didn't happen. It's never somehow. too late. I will say this. Yeah. Cooking. Is it? No, no. I, I like, bet. I bet he could could make. Uh, Eggs and toast. Or spaghettios. Oh, I mean, uh, sure. But, like, cooking is one of those things where once you get the basics, it's so much fun. Because it becomes, like, just a little ritual, just this little escape that you can kind of, like, reward yourself with. It's, it's kind of like game hunting. You know, you drive, you find the stores, you look around, you dig, and then you get that one game. And it's like, you cook, you try your best, and then you nail it that one time. And it's so satisfying because it's the fruits of your own labor. Mm. So it's very therapeutic. I recommend it to everyone that they cook one meal a week at least. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't cook very often because my wife's a very good cook. Yeah, so, also, so is mine. I mean, so. when, when you're like cooking for for kids at yeah. the same time, it, gets, it like stresses me out, especially when they don't eat like most of the stuff that either of us would make for, for them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. There's a lot of questions for me in the chat, and I, yeah. I don't, I'm not sure why, but... Um, well, you're here every week. That's true. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> uh, does Audi like pro wrestling on NES? Which, um, if you want to know my thoughts on wrestling that. games, I did a certain book, uh, which actually catalogs every single wrestling game ever made, uh, which is called Wrestling with Pixels, which you can get on Amazon right now. Um, so Pro Wrestling on NES is very interesting. Uh, it was made by the creator of Fire Pro Wrestling. Uh, the eventual creator of Fire Pro Wrestling. Um, and I think it's pretty fun. I mean, it was a conversion of sorts of Map Mania from uh, Taito. Which, uh, in its initial concepts, was supposed to be Map Mania at the time. Nintendo actually sought out arcade games like Spartan X from Iron, mm. Kung Fu Master, and a few others. And eventually it was kind of felt like, ah, eh, we shouldn't, ju like, for whatever reason, Nintendo decided to create their own sports line, I think it was, and to keep everything consolidated into Nintendo, uh, it was made into uh, Proresu, Famicom Wrestling Association, mm. or Pro Wrestling in the US. Uh, but yeah, I like it. Uh, I think the characters are kind of iconic. I'm very surprised they never reused them in like Smash Brothers or anything as like uh, what's those like characters that show up and do like one move. I forget their names. Assist characters. I don't know. 
But yeah, that's my thoughts on pro wrestling. Um, I got the Cooper Troop all those pirates. Um, oh, here we go. Do uh, do wrestling games not come out with the same frequency that they used to in like the late nineties? Like, I don't. I feel like I don't hear about them. Anymore. Yeah. So I mean, during the PlayStation, the Super Famicom. I mean, if people ask like, what's the best era? A wrestling game. It's the Super Famicom. The Super Famicom has the widest palette of wrestling. Yeah, I would have. I would have expected as, as you know, someone who's not, especially in the wrestling. I would have expected N sixty four because that was when no, my, so some N- of my friends were into N sixty four, and you know. So N sixty four has the best wrestling games, mm. um, arguably still to this day, but the variation in the product wasn't. You know, it was very. Uh, streamlined at that point, you have the Aki wrestlers, which is the ones you're talking about. You have like the WF games, uh, but on Super Famicom, you have a huge wide palette of like Japanese wrestling games, fighting games based on wrestling games, like FMW. Uh, all this kind of like experimentation with the genre, which beyond wrestling, uh, is very popular. Um, so that's the best kind of era of it, but. Um, Today, because the product kind of died off for a long time. Oh my, look at that. <laughs> that is horrifying. Oh gosh. Yeah. What? What is it? What is it? It's like a Stretch it's, it's Armstrong. Sonic. It's a Stretch Armstrong Sonic. Sonic. Oh wow. I mean. Official. I mean, I can tell it's Sonic, but. Ah, oh, where did it come from? Target. Like, recently? Uh couple weeks ago. Yeah, well, I don't know what a Stretch Armstrong is, but... Yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah. So, they don't come up with come out with the same frequency because it's just not uh, as many developers anymore that have the resources to do them. Because now everything is licensed. Requires a lot of, like, scanning in th- uh, 3D models and <laughs> all these things. So, that's why you don't see them so much. But there are quite a few. There's Fire Pro Wrestling World. There's WWE, of course, um, and uh, AEW is coming out with a game, which, from what I've heard behind the scenes, is um, interesting. So, so that did it. Did, 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 did. That did it. Pretty simple. You did it. The the beginning is like so rough, but then it just kind of moves. Yeah. Once you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So he just got shot and just died. Yep. Maybe maybe it is not hit. Maybe you just like he pull the trigger a little bit too early. Hook. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> ah, I got you. Uh. I put down my controller and everything. Yeah. <laughs> you, it would be funny if like if Hook wasn't even in the game. You just in a cutscene. You didn't even fight him at the end. Oh, he lost his hook. Yep. Someone was it saying. Does, it does, Please tell me they start me there. You know what? I would play a Hook sequel where he's just where you control Hook and it plays like Bionic Command. Oh yeah, mm. <laughs> good one. It's like Bionic Commander, but with Hook. Yeah. Uh, someone was saying earlier that the Super Famicom has uh, uh, like a uh, Yoshi Pro Wrestling Monogatari, which is basically like female wrestling story. Mm-hmm. Uh, which mm-hmm. is a Blizzard Yuki, which was a card based card game based wrestling game, visual novel. And it's actually one of the more expensive Super Famicom games out there. So and it's a good game, yes. <laughs> uh, I I am not drinking a Happy Dad tonight. Happy Dad, oh yeah, that's right. The Happy Dad uh, seltzer. I mean the seltzer is the only thing that doesn't make make me feel hungover the next day. Mm-hmm. That's just, I've, I've reached that stage in my intolerance in life, I guess. So. It's really hard to get, because of his running speed, it's really hard to get to the other side of him. <laughs> Does the hook's claw have his wife in it? <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. I thought that was a pretty interesting. <laughs> uh, there's a six ninety nine Canadian from Proteus. Okay, thank you. Saying for Audi, 
Okay. Uh, I would love to see a Wrestling Angels revival, considering the popularity of uh, card-based games. Yeah. I think it would be successful. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I met with the license holders for Wrestling Wrestle Angels uh, back in 2016. <laughs> uh, so there was Wrestle Angels Survivor on uh, PS2, which mm-hmm. was uh, not successful, but it is now very expensive as a result. Um, I absolutely think you're right. For those who don't know about it, Wrestle Angels was a PC-98 based card battler based around female wrestling. Uh, it was ported to PC Engine, Super Famicom, and then eventually we'll get some entries on PS2. Um, Is it in your book? Yeah, everything's in my book. So, How do you make a card game based around wrestling? Much like the same way a card battle system in the RPG. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of like you select the moves and then there's certain um, values to each card. I, I do... I haven't played, like, outside of, like, Bot and Kato's, I haven't played a lot of card-based mm. RPGs, but I do conceptually like them because, you know, I'm not really into, like, card games in real life, but I, I like them because, like, you build the deck so you have that level of control yeah. mm. over what moves you get <laughs> uh, but then there's also that element of randomness where you uh, you have the uh, uh, I'm distracted because I'm trying to enjoy this right? yeah. scene. Yeah. Um but anyway so the the I like that it's like you kind of have to deal with the hand you're dealt right mm. like you you might not get the move you always want to use yeah. But then you work within, you know, the three or whatever cards that you have on hand. So I, I like the randomness because it makes, it prevents battles from becoming, uh, you know, just spamming the same moves all the time. So Wrestle Angels has you basically, you're playing as the manager, uh, basically, of a ah. federation. And so you build your deck that way. Um, yes. But yeah. And then someone's saying that they have GQ Power Pro Wrestling Max Voltage. That's a Super Famicom wrestler from Konami, which uses digitized sprites. And the interesting thing about that game is that there's ser- several wrestlers in that game based on other Konami properties, like Sparkster, uh, oh, wow. Contra, <laughs> things like that. They don't look like the characters, uh, but they have the same name. Uh, I have I have both uh, Rumble Roses games. Yeah. So- yeah. You know, we we put that in a video one time, and we thought it was it was really hard finding a relatively tame clip. Yeah, you won't find that in Rumble Roses. I did meet with creators of Rumble Roses while making the book as well. Um, mm-hmm. It's one of the biggest kind of portions of the book. Um, they were very proud of Rumble Roses, and Konami actually internally uh, felt that this was the next generation of Tokimeki. And as such, oh, like, really? actually, the game is based very much on the foundation that Tokimeki was based on, that each girl was kind of like girls you could fall in love with based on your interests. Hmm. And mm-hmm. so the idea was that those girls were going to go and carry on into other games, and there was going to be like a Rumble Roses kind of franchise. The, uh, the, the right. Rumble Roses cinematic u- universe. Yes, uh, aptly put. <laughs> and uh, that didn't happen, but when I spoke with them, they still had a lot of fondness for it, um, and a lot of love for it. A lot of work was put into it, actually. It was a very expensive game for them, uh, mm. which just didn't work out. The Xbox 360 game is absolutely terrible. Mm. Uh, oh, so, yeah. so you would say that the PS2 one is much better? The PS2 one is actually, you know, if you're kind of into the SmackDown arcade side of things, it's very fun. Mm. It also very su- <laughs> it's very suggestive. Uh, yeah. It doesn't. I personally don't think it's not even about aging well because I think there's definitely space in video gaming to be raunchy and kind mm-hmm. of have you know sexiness as an element, but I think it just yeah. goes into an element of just kind of like stupidity almost. Uh, wow. But it does play fun, and yeah, this just ends. I've. <laughs> I, I one of my favorite things is you know classic cartridge based games just hard locking on the yeah. end uh, that makes but you really feel the game screen. is done. But I've never seen it done on just a black screen before. So what's your what's your verdict here now? 
You played through it. I've been pushing this game on you for three years. Yeah, probably yeah. something about like that. Yeah. Um, I, I I like it. You know, I don't think it's going to be you know competing for my my top tier SNES or anything. But you know, it's it's a really good looking game. Like the sprite art and the background art, um, is 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 really good. I I feel especially for like the era it was developed in. I mean, it's it's we're talking first half Super Nintendo. I feel like it almost looks like early second half. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, the music is really good. Sonic looks really horrible there, which, you know, I'm not a Sonic fan anyway. I mean, you know, whoa. Like, I don't see how that thing is not wrecked. I, I know nothing about these toys. That's what it's supposed to be. It's just supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, it's good. It, it You know, the, the slowness and stiffness of that initial walk, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it was the right decision for them with Sky Blazer to make that a... Uh, I, I I do like sort of building momentum sorts of mechanics in games like Mario or whatever, but uh, Sky Blazer was kind of easier to control. <laughs> <laughs> and based on all these wrestling uh, questions, I guess one day we should stream wrestling games or something. But yeah. Oh, uh, there's five dollars from uh, Venezuela. Thank you. Saying, have you played Jurassic Park? The chaos continues on stream. If not, that would be a great uh, couch two-player co-op with you two. I that's another one I've been trying to push you. Uh, I don't remember. You can get out. You can, yeah, yeah. If you can get out the uh, the SCDS on the house, you could do it. Yeah. So Jurassic Park Two on Super Nintendo is really interesting because okay. it's, it's not based on uh, Lost World. It's a wholly original kind of Contra okay. like game. Okay. Okay. It has a fully voiced introduction. Uh, on the Super Nintendo. Oh, you did mention that. Yeah, recently. yeah. It's actually a very cool game. Uh, I think that's going to be saved for another stream with us too, so we can kind of okay, okay. do the whole game. Next time you visit, you'll have to be pushing me to buy that, just like yeah. you were pushing me to buy Hook this time. Mm -hmm. Is it an expensive game? Mm -hmm. Um, No, I think it's fairly reasonable yeah. still. It's not, like, people generally don't talk about Jurassic Park 2, The Chaos Continues. Yeah, I, I, uh, they certainly don't, because I don't know what I didn't know. What I about. think that's another game that kind of got a bad rap due to uh, inclusion on, uh, what's his name? J uh, James Rolfe's video things. Oh, really? Uh, mm. Game Nerd, Game Nerd. Um, I think that was included, because I remember talking to someone about it, like, and the answer for them was like, oh, well, you know, Game Nerd said that was a really bad game. It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who made it? Uh, it's an ocean game. I forget if Ocean actually developed it though. Okay. But, yeah, but it's an ocean <laughs> joint. Well, what must I in Rumble Roses? We might get demonetized. You probably would actually, because some of those scenes in Rumble Roses are pretty. Which, well, pretty which one would you say is better? Of what? Of the Rumble Roses. Oh, but the PS2 one. Okay. Yeah. Unless you include the 3D pachinko machine, <laughs> and then it's still PS2. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Contra clone with Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah. Dang! It's very Contra. I, I love me some Contra. Let me but tell you what. We had a condition, Try. Oh, no. Well, I, I have a condition. Yeah, oh, mm. But we said if you finish Super Nintendo Hook, mm -hmm. your reward would be playing Hook on NES. Now, if you did not finish Hook on Super Nintendo, your punishment would be playing Hook on NES. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you finished it, mm -hmm. so you're going to play Hook on NES. Yeah. Well, why don't you go into the guest room, and in the upper left corner of that desk drawer are all my EverDrives. All right. So come back here with the yellow NES, or yellow Famicom EverDrive. All right. I will go get that for you. As a friend, Ye I will go get it. <laughs> yellow. Huh? In the Top left drawer in the desk. Uh, Live a little bit. Is that out this week? Like is on it? Friday or something? I know it's July. I have it pre ordered. Yeah. And then Xenoblade is after that. I'm, I'm, I'm closing. I got to be closing in on the end of uh, Like a Dragon. Y Yakuza. Oh, yeah. I was talking about last week. And someone asked me, and I meant to answer, answer last week, what my favorite sub-story is in Like a Dragon. 
Is is Man, it is I, it is it what you've been talking to us about this past weekend? Uh <laughs> no, no. That about the film. I mean, that's not like a full fledged like sub story. That's more of like that's from the uh, the hero, like the hero for hire part. Well, don't spoil whatever. anything too much because I still haven't played the game yet. Oh no, this is this is just like there there is like fifty some sub story stories. Uh, my favorite sub story is probably the the miracle kimchi. It's like oh. so hot that it makes people run really fast. <laughs> that is a kind of impressive. That uh, is a good title screen. Yeah, it's very impressive. It's why really you, good. Why don't you play the game? I mean, you made. I don't remember this at all, but you've made me play this before, during that. Uh, egg, yeah, yeah, yeah. That egg blind, hunt. Ba- bl- uh, blind bag. Yeah. Like I even like the sword uh, selector. Yeah. Like this, this I am filled with hope. And high yeah. expectations. Yeah, this is a very ocean title screen. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 to be honest, I'm not overly familiar with Ocean's work, so... But uh, apparently they make good first impressions. <laughs> yeah, they actually... That's a very good way of describing Ocean. Good first impressions. <laughs> yeah. They actually... Good looking, <laughs> looking uh, character sprites. Like, Dark Man's the one always comes to mind. Mm. Yeah, Dark Man is... It's not a great game, but it's like... Very good it's got a map. It, it looks good. It looks, it looks good in Super screenshots. Ocean good. games always look good in screenshots. And always got good music. Ocean is very... I mean, Ocean was known for good music from the Commodore 64 days. I mean, I think most of Ocean's output is actually good. It's just that, like, they went out with a bang of bad ones. And that's kind of where things like this lands. So you bought a complete copy of this last last I, weekend? I sure did, Track. You did. I How much sure was did. it? Ah, uh, 30 bucks. Ooh, that, that knife is, like, real short. Yeah, it is real short. That's uh, that's kind of the problem. What, yeah. well, what's the deal with Tinkerbell here? I assume that's Tinkerbell? What is, it, what is this? Maybe it's just scenery. Just give some color to the stage. Like, I just don't understand why he's just, like, zombie white. I don't know. I mean, there's only so many colors on it yeah. to draw from. Yeah, but, like, the enemies actually have, like, skin tone. Yeah. Oh, who is not this one. that? Oh, that looks like a turkey. <laughs> a turkey. Um, or a chicken. I mean, you know what I really like are the, the leaves. On the tree. So those yeah, look like yeah, great yeah. leaves. I'm also all for finding positives and the most of negatives. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like if you just saw a screenshot of this, you would say, "Wow, that looks really, really good." Yeah. Aside from the main character, I just I hate how he looks. <laughs> uh, I, ooh, like six oh, look how that's why he's crafty. Is that? Yeah. Like, is that like, like it looks like? Is, is that his is butt cheeks the, uh, like coming out of the back of his? His yeah, tunic he's there when the, he's uh, crouched? Yeah. Is it? It's that, that one pose that like they released like the unofficial Tifa statue of. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, where it comes oh, from. Gosh. The Jacko pose. Yeah. Wait, that, that's the, an unofficial... The, 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 pan, the pan Jacko pose. So that, that <laughs> Tifa thing was unofficial? <laughs> no, it's not official. Well, how are they selling it then? That's... that's, the, that's... I don't know. They just are. <laughs> <laughs> Why so can you not like attack while I'm jumping? For it. Can I fly with the? Oh, so the magic dust is just like oh, you just bounce off it. Mm-hmm. Why not? Why? Why not? That's that's how it flies. Oh look, I, I might. Like, like I, I got to the E. Yeah, but you, I don't think you have all the. Oh, there's like a there's something you have to do to exit. Yeah. Oof. That, oh, the, you know, that pirate looks pretty good though. He's like. Mm. Still got like three hours left of the stream try. No, I need to go downstairs and clean one of my other uh, one of my other games to bring up new games to bring up here. Uh, I don't I don't think I played this level when we did our uh, variety stream. I don't think so, you played more than five minutes. So. This is this is a new experience right now. Mm-hmm. You can play the Game Boy version. Uh, what about it? Yeah, we can play it. <laughs> Look at Sonic's face now. It's like, 
It's oh, flaking God. off. So, like, is the point of the toy to just destroy it? You never had a Stretch Armstrong? No. How, how much does it cost? It's like maybe like nine dollars i would thing. not spend nine dollars on a thing that just gets wrecked like that who who would do that no it's it's it, you're it like the paint will come off of it but you're supposed what? to stretch it and it it could be like stretched up to like i, I just, don't i don't know if it's possible to break i just don't understand the like, i just don't understand the point if it's going to look so disgusting why would you pay i like i would pay like two dollars for something that gets wrecked like that at most like, what is going on with this there's like a barrier there. Like that's it's all about stretching them into uh, yeah. It's, it's it's a novelty. I don't get it. You know, I bought them for my kids, and then they didn't play with them barely at all, so I took them. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, there was a a, a ten reals from Rafa Nets. Thank you. you. All read that. Uh, Bo Boanoite. 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 Oh, okay. Saying, hey, Adi, nice to see you. Uh, that you lived here in Brazil for a time. What yes. did you like more about the country? Uh, uh, really not a crazy bootleg gaming scene. Oh, man. Abracos. Uh, uh, it's been. I lived there in 2005 till 2008. Uh, what I like most about it, um, I mean, I had a wonderful, wonderful group of friends. I, I love the people. I uh, love the food. My God, the food is amazing. Um, I mean, I, I feel bad for saying this on such a nice, clean channel, but I really like the women. Uh, <laughs> and uh, nice, the game scene, That's I have a lot of regret regarding the game scene because when I was Sandy, there what's wrong? Come, here. Yeah, come here Sandy listen to our dirty stories uh, with the game scene when I was there the master system bootlegs so, or not even bootlegs but the tech toy stuff um, was still being sold in the game stores there in Libidaji you could find it and uh, I didn't buy any of it because like I was younger and like I was collecting retro games, but I didn't look at it as the kind of curiosity that it is now. But I could have picked up like Street Fighter on Mega uh, Master System and um, uh, was it Land of Illusion? Uh, those kind of games. I could have picked yeah. that up for like, you know, not much money at all when I lived there. But I didn't buy any of it because um, I was more preoccupied oh. with. Uh, discovering other things so uh yeah uh, I, I regret that now because you know i was there in the golden age of that kind of stuff and i love you know i collect a lot of bootlegs from taiwan and stuff in box and they had all that down there uh, i loved going to libidage and uh, look at uh, look at the piratas and all the kind of like bootleg stuff uh it was so much fun but um yeah it's been so long now that I wonder how it is today. Uh, I do miss a lot of people <laughs> there. So maybe one day um, I'll go back just for a trip. Um, oh no. Look at this uh, game over screen, by the way. I think this is a very oh, no. creative. I don't like the way. Now you're forced to walk the plank. Oh, goodness gracious me. Phew, you know, so I've concluded that you cannot attack enemies in this game. Your short knife doesn't do any damage to anything. I don't. I did not successfully land an attack on any enemy in the game. I don't think. And who says it's a knife? Maybe it's a spoon. Have you ever played knife or spoony? <laughs> um, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spork, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's spork. That was a uh, so we're not going to play this game anymore. I've done. I've exhausted all I hope that you, there I, is to do. I hope for the rest of the stream you keep it on this screen, though, with this wonderful music that just repeats. <laughs> uh, this is how I feel every day in my head. <laughs> but, uh, I don't. I'm trying to decide what feeling that is. Are you, are you gonna go get something that you uh, you got this? You feeling? probably should. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll I'll do that. Do you want to listen to this music? Yeah, during that. No. Do you, you want keep, to listen to this? Yeah, you can keep on this, and then people can send us questions while you're downstairs getting a game. Yes, I will okay. get I will get a game I bought in the past week. 
So you can ask me about Brazil or wrestling games or whatever you want to talk about today. I'm here for you. I'll play Adam's Family. Why? Those... I don't like any of the Adam's Family games. Not even Fester's Quest. I think it's not fun. Not even that one. No. Not even. <laughs> uh, try Cory and Audi. Do you think Nintendo will surprise us with a new Switch model this fall? Um, this fall? Um, <laughs> no. I'm not going to comment on it. <laughs> Uh, Rafa yeah. is back with uh, the official Monster Boy reskin with Turma de Monica. Would have oh, been yeah, a great yeah, yeah. Mega Driver. Yeah, so I loved Monica when I lived down in Brazil, and I do like those conversions. Um, for those who don't know about it, Monica is kind of like a Peanuts. Like, I don't mean the actual nut, but like Peanuts with Snoopy and whatnot. It's a very similar kind of franchise for children down in Brazil, uh, it's everywhere. And they converted Monster Boy, and I think one of the Asterix games uh, to Monica. No, Asterix was converted to a different franchise. Sorry, um, Monster Boy or Monster World or whatever mm -hmm. got converted. Wonder Boy. Why am I? <laughs> right. We yeah, finally yeah, yeah. landed on the game. <laughs> Wonder Boy in uh, the in Wonder Boy in Monster World. Monster World, yeah. Or or. Uh... Wonder Boy 3, Monster World 5. Yeah. Or Monster World 5, Wonder Boy... Th Monster World 3, Wonder... Monster World... <laughs> Monster World 3. Yeah. Wonder Boy 5, Monster World 3. Yes. <laughs> uh, Audi, when will Santa Phoenix come back? Well, maybe he will come back for this Christmas. You never know. You never know. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully. I don't... Dang, not even the Legendary Ants Family pinball table. I do like the pinball table. Uh, so I do like... But that's not a video game. Yeah. Those, those movies are pretty good. Did you ever see, like, the newer ones? The CG ones? I did not, but I heard they were good. Yeah, I did, the second one is on Prime. I haven't seen the second one. The first one was pretty decent. Yeah, I need to see them. I actually have a, a lot of fondness for Adam's Family. Mm -hmm. So, just not the video games. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. There's so that that's also Ocean, by the way. Same publisher as right. this. Uh, Hades Hot Gun. What are the odds the AEW game comes anywhere close to No Mercy or the later Aki games? Ah, uh, don't keep your hopes up for that. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Um, and no other questions so far. I think we. Oh, you got a super chat. Yeah, from Mega X6. Mega X6 has been a member for five months. Hey. Right? Saying, just completed Earthbound Beginnings on Switch Online. Now I'm waiting for... Live Alive. Uh, live Alive. Or live Alive. Live. I, I, I think, think they like, keep saying live alive? live alive. Yeah. I always heard Live Alive when I lived in Japan, but mm -hmm. I guess they now come up with Live Alive. Um, <laughs> that's, that's it's. Excuse me, I'm having... Burks <laughs> left and right. Um, yeah, li Live Alive, the new version, is fantastic. And I think the music especially is really good. So do yeah. do check that out. We were checking some of the stuff out the other night on it. And it was... Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the voice acting is a little like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I might, I might be turning off what? the voice In Live Alive. Oh. Yeah. We heard the English voice acting. I mean... Very talented voice actors, but I just think that the um, the game the the drama of which they interject into the game doesn't really fit the visuals of it. That, like a, that's I felt the same way about Octopath Traveler. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it's it's too very it's too dramatic. You know, you and have serious because, for sprite characters. Yeah, you have sprites that just stand and look at each other <laughs> and still. Um, and, and when then, they get angry, they jump up and down. Yeah, like and it's just like, it doesn't really work for me. But What I want to do, I hope they do, uh, like, voice acting for the Pixel Remasters. If they ever put them on Switch, they did voice acting for them. Just because I want to hear people, hey. like, save when, like, like Edgar is going like this. Yeah. To get a controller. Like, like doing his finger. So, uh, what are they going to do? Someone's asking, Ryers the Blood. He's asking if I'm Swedish. I am not Swedish. Very close, though, but no. I'll let the uh, guessing game go on. <laughs> so this is another game that I also pushed on you. 
Yeah. But for good reason, because this is a very good game. Yeah, I, I brought okay. it up here because I thought you would have things to say. Yeah, I have a lot of things to say. Um, we'll probably need to turn the volume up on this one a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, there's actually... Are you going... Going quack, quackers? Yeah, we're going we're going quackers all right. Or quack attack in Europe. Uh, yeah. Uh, Do you recommend high or low resolution? At low. Is, yeah. is the frame rate bad mm. on high? You don't want to do that. Uh, sharpness, standard or maximum? I'll try maximum. Yeah, maybe. interesting. Maximum. Maximum power. Oh, it looks like. Well, it actually hides a lot of dithering. Man, try is all up in the screen now. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, maximum. Try on the screen game. There's certain games that will make Try just like kiss the TV screen. This is one of them. This is that. interesting. Yeah. I, I didn't know that it had such a feature. I actually kind of. We're never we're never gonna go past the screen now, are I we? I think this. Yeah. I think the. I think the softening helps. So. Yeah, I mean you can read about this in my uh, hardcore gaming article about all Donald Ga Donald 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 Duck games. Ever made, but yeah, this was a very interesting one, um, and another one that people sleep. I think people sleep on this game a lot too. But I've always been curious because I mean I had that. Nintendo Power all throughout yeah. the N sixty four era. Yeah. So, I mean, this is a game that I think I, I like this real to real save. Thing. Yeah, this, I think this is a game that kind of flows a little bit into like the Rayman two era of games. Which, it's, was this before or after Rayman? It's after. Okay, I, Rayman 2 is yeah, really Rayman. good. Mm -hmm. Use the same engine. So, uh, it's easier than those, though, because obviously a little bit younger of a demographic. Mm -hmm. But this was, a, this was like a media project, because there was a lot of different games that have a lot of differences from one another. Uh, this is a very good one. Um, this is very good for N64 as well, these graphics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since N64 is a little quieter, I'm not going to use this. Yeah, there was a PS2 version of this game later on, which is further changed from this original. Yeah, you, you were telling me that, like, every version of this game is actually fairly different. Not fa not fairly, but they all have differences that make them stand out from one another. Mm -hmm. uh, they all share a similar gameplay basis, and some share a very close, like, level design. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the PlayStation and the N64 games have a lot of notable differences. Uh, the Dreamcast and N64 versions are very close. Um, and then the PS2 GameCube one has further changes to kind of uh, balance out the gameplay. Because there are certain issues with the platforming in this game. Um, but it is very, very good. You yeah, said, yeah. When, when, did, when did you get this, Dry? Like, where, the, you didn't get it when we were there, is it before we got there? Uh, we stopped by after after you and John left the grid, we stopped by the video. You, you remember Save Point? There's a video game yeah. world where Save Point used to be. Oh, okay. And we, we, stopped, we stopped by there on the way back. I mean, can I just, like, I felt like the most excited and interested in the grid. Oh, yeah, yeah, the grid like, is I great. Like, I like, had the most fun there. Mm -hmm. well, John, John fun really enjoyed it, too. They have, like, other things, too. Yeah. Because you never know what you're going to find. And it's it is also, like, you know, like, the prices aren't as high as they would be at, like, a dedicated game store. Yeah, well, you, you tell them what you got. You got. You got a killer deal there on a very expensive game. Which I, you know, has only recently really shot up. But I got... Uh, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Yeah, great game. Uh, it was it was, was sixty nine ninety nine, but you know, like I guess recently it's gone. It's like sold for like over a hundred because we saw it for a hundred and ten like the day before, right? I'm pretty yeah. sure we did. Like at, at one of the video game worlds, we saw it for a hundred and ten. Oh, I think the big button picture. Someone's asking. That was like my big. That was my big purchase. Yeah, and I mean. Fantastic game. Uh, it's another stream, stream we should do. Week, I yeah, okay. I want to watch that because I love Bill Hatcher. 
Uh, someone was asking, what was the game with Donald Duck where he has a blindfold? Uh, that's uh, Cold Shadow or Mayo Millard. Oh yeah, and I you know I bought that uh, last year. Oh, I've I've not good. popped it in yet. It's very good. It, it, I, I looked at a YouTube video of it a while back. Uh, oh, this looks kind of Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, it's similar to Crash. Yeah. Um, uh, I bought I bought mostly because I, I watched a I looked at just like a long play on YouTube and I really liked the animation. In yeah. It. Mm -hmm. It's uh, kind of like a Dave Perry game without the Dave Perry. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like how those games feel. Uh, and I, I'm hoping I'll like how Molly Ballard feels. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you'll like that. It's, it's a shame what happened to that game. Because it deserved way more. What happened? Just With ignored? Maya Millard? So Maya Millard was supposed to be a brand new franchise for Disney. Mm. Um, where Disney... So the game was kind of basically kick off like a new animated show and I, I was surprised when I learned because I always knew of the game and I was yeah. surprised when I learned that oh wait there's there's no show associated with this right and then when Disney saw the product they were like well we don't want to introduce another duck into the Disney universe so it should be Donald Duck <laughs> as my Millard and I think just to kind of like it's it's like this vo dark voodoo inspired game uh, without really any Donald Duck elements to speak of. So I think people were just kind of like, well, that's that's pretty weird. You yeah. know, like, uh, don't really like it. But the game deserves way more. And, um, yeah. That's kind of uh, There was uh, $2 right. from Yo-Yo Yoshio. Thank you. And I came back to the stream and to hear Billy Hatcher and see Donald Duck quack, quack attack or going <laughs> quack. Is it called Go. quack attack in a different region? Yeah, Europe. Okay. Uh, quality. Did you know that Billy Hatcher has a little known and much cheaper European exclusive PC port? Yes. I used Reshade to add ray tracing to it because why not? Yeah. Uh, there's, I have the PC version of that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Uh, I, but, you know, I, the only time I played it was on a demo disc, I think, like years and years ago when I, when I worked at Game Crazy. For yeah. A little while. Yeah, I'm like, look, at, I'm laughing at that. I'm looking through the, uh, the little, the, the holder for, <laughs> for my, uh, microphone there for a little bit. That's just funny. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I'll probably stream that next week. It just sounds kind of fun. Yeah, I, I really love Billy Hatcher. I, I don't understand people's, like, kind of, I mean, I guess well, people now, it is pretty popular now. For yeah, sure. I think that's one that's like in in recent years have gotten a cult following, right? Oh, absolutely. I well, I mean, I may have always kind of had that, honestly. I was really happy because uh, I think it was GDQ a while ago, or maybe it was just the Yeti in itself. They put out an official Billy Hatcher T-shirt that was really cute. So I finally have a Billy Hatcher T-shirt. <laughs> so. <laughs> So this, this game has a double jump. Yep. Yeah. Where he takes so his think, hat off. Like, in this day and age, is is the double jump played out? Just make the character jump higher, you think? I mean, it it depends it, it, on the game. Double jump is, is timeless. Yeah. That was a kind of funny thing in the Turtles game, Danger of the Ooze. When you learn mm -hmm. a double jump, like the turtle, uh, Donatello is like, where did you learn that, Casey? Like, I saw it in the video. Yeah, there's a, a lot in that game. There's a lot of like you just run into a character and they're like, "Oh hey, like you should just use this move." Yeah, and I mean, I like, like you didn't like acquire like an ability or anything. No, no, no. They don't even like show. You, they don't even <laughs> like demonstrate. They're just like, "Oh, just just double jump, come on guys." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now you can then you can double jump. Yeah. Uh, there was a nine ninety nine from uh, Travis Suter. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thing. Thanks, you guys, for, for your outstanding high-quality content on the Mr. FPGA. I finally managed to assemble one myself. Nice. And I'm enjoying Neo Geo AES without <laughs> breaking the bank. That's 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 absolutely correct. Yep. yep. I mean, that's that's what it's great for. Mm -hmm. I You know, the uh, the Super Game Boy core just came out. Yeah, I saw. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, like, try. you were curious about that. Oh, yeah, so does it have the sound effects in it? 
I'm pretty sure that it does. That's I awesome. That it does. But I want to know. I wonder. I have not installed it yet. I wonder if it just like pulls from your same Game Boy folder for the game. Oh, well, you could probably over. navigate to it regardless. Right, but I mean, that sounds like a pain in the butt. If it just like pulls from the same folder, it would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the animations in this game. It's really fun. Oh, now, yeah, now he's in his angry mode. Yep, yeah, because you have a low health. Now, I think Cory would. Where is my health? Is my health just marked by his, yeah, his face? There? Yeah, his face. Cory would probably approve of this in the game, but when you pick up a certain item, he does a butt dance, which is very similar <laughs> to, like, Asha. In mm. Monster World. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think actually Donald's though is better overall. I love how the ducks are always obsessed with ice cream. Mm -hmm. Every stage also has some secrets, so you can go back to the stages, find secrets. It's 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 a really good simple 3D platformer. And this was a time what I really like about this game. This, this was the time of, like, Banjo-Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64 and all these, like, collect fonts that just had, like, endless open levels and just... I wasn't really into that. So my more traditional platformer mm -hmm. in 3D was, like, exactly what I wanted. I, I, I liked the collect thons at first, but then I got... I, I got burned out by Banjo to it. Yeah. But then I have appreciated it again in more recent years, like as a throwback. Like I really liked Ukulele. Mm. Uh, but like something like Mario Galaxy was actually kind of a revelation with its more linear level design. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I you know, more recent years, like I've played uh, you know, I've so far I've done the first two Crash Bandicoot games and I really like them. I like I do like linear three D platforms. I did not know that this was that kind of game. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and, and try. You even liked. Uh, you did it. You weren't burned out by Donkey Kong 60, 64. It was Banjo Tooie that did. It, it, I think <laughs> most people it was Donkey Kong sixty four. Yeah, I hate that game. Uh, and you know what? For me, like it was. It came out like right before Thanksgiving and you know back in high school all I wanted to do was binge like you know the big AAA release on N64 uh, that year you know the big you know first part Nintendo or rare game whatever released in November like mid November and like I just binged it uh, that's all I wanted to do and like that game was like perfect for a binge um, yeah and uh you know 100 percent in like just a few days it's pretty overwhelming but i don't think i could easily go back to it but at the time i played it it was the right game at the right time with and yeah in the moment you were the right like age. that's good <laughs> uh i see there's a question for me there but i'm having trouble reading it so. um Adi, why were the duck characters so popular in your neck of the woods? Um, of the world, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, especially in Scandinavia, but in Europe in general, Italy and Germany, um, Donald Duck was, and still is, way more popular than Mickey Mouse. I don't really remember what set it off, but I mean, for us, especially like Christmas, but every 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 season, we get these pocketbooks with like Don Rosa and Carl Barks adventures with Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge, uh, which was much more epic and much more like yeah, human, and I guess that's the best words I can say, than Mickey Mouse, because Mickey Mouse was just kind of like, uh, what to say, he's a very simplistic American character. I mean, I've always liked yeah. Donald Duck as the best. Yeah, like, the yeah. The core because, Disney cast. Because Donald yeah. Duck has personality. Mickey Mouse yeah. has an image. Like, he's just yeah. literally yeah, an exactly. icon. Like, yeah. You know, Mickey Mouse is untouchable. Mickey Mouse is like like Superman. Kind of. Yeah. But in Europe, yeah, like, he... You know, for the most part in Europe, if you see Disney-related material, especially, like, from my childhood, it would always be Donald. Um, and, yeah, so... 
And I mean, I grew up reading the Carl Bark stuff, especially. Um, and Don Rosa as well. Uh, we had a weekly magazine. Oh, there's that. Yeah, the butt, butt dance. dance. Uh, we had a weekly magazine that was, you know, with new Donald Duck stories every week. Uh, when I did my article about the Donald Duck games back in 2009 or 2010, uh, I actually worked with the Disney of Norway to do that, and it couldn't be printed in Donald Duck & Co. due to uh, licensing uh, issues. <laughs> so, yeah, there's the butt dance again. Mm -hmm. I like that butt dance. <laughs> That's a good butt thing. Yeah, Bobby, you know, obviously... It's pretty good, I gotta say. It's, there's a lot more to it than I was expecting. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, obviously I, I really like, um, you know, DuckTales and stuff, which is, like, has huge basis in the comics that were so popular yeah. in Europe. And that new one uh, that came out, which is a fantastic show. and So should, good. Should be way more than three seasons of it. But that draws a lot closer to those stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, so even more so than the original Ducktales. Yeah. yeah, even the intro has like a very comic book look, mm -hmm. and really the the color palette of the whole show yep. has like that that comic book look. It's oh, it's it is absolutely. I think incredible. that's the best Disney cartoon that's come out, um, at least in the last fifteen years. Oh, to me. Yeah, I mean, not that I've watched a lot, but yeah, yeah it's it, I, it blew me away. I was not expecting to like it. And they I was even like immediately hooked. They even integrated the NES game into the lore. With, yeah, <laughs> with uh, Jake Kaufman of all people, uh, arranging uh, oh, the moon scene. Wait, he did the music for the show. He did the he did the moon theme arrangement that they sang. Uh, really? Yeah. That uh, what's her name? Wow. Dolly, not Dolly, the, uh, the moon duck. Yes. Uh, the girl sang. That was Jake who did that arrangement. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. So, um, and one one thing that's kind of interesting for people is um, a character that was really big in Europe, especially Scandinavia and Italy, is uh, what we call Van Donal, which is like Phantom Duck or like Phantom Donald. Okay. Which mm -hmm. is like a superhero version of Donald, mm -hmm. which was made in Italy, uh, officially via Disney, but it's him like as a caped crusader, which Darkwing Duck is kind of like, all right, that comes much later, but yeah, yeah. basically... Uh, of course, a different duck. Different duck, but very similar in some ways. Yeah, and then there's also Gizmo Duck. Yeah, but uh, Fantonal got its own video game on PS2, which was released in Italy and Scandinavia. Really? Yes. What? <laughs> and uh, just those two regions? I think only those two regions. Is it good? Ah, uh, it's 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 a game. It's hard to imagine that like a game that is released in such limited regions would have much of a budget. It's not the worst game ever made, but it's not great. Uh, but in the two thousands or late nineties, uh, they rebooted that as a dark sci-fi comic, which was really weird. Hmm. I loved it. Um, he has a really weird name in English, I think, Fantonal. Um, like but maybe that. someone to chat. Isn't there knows like what a, there's about. like a Fontoroy duck? Isn't that uh, something like that? Is, is is that the is which which who's the one that like always has like good luck? Is that Fontoroy? Uh, that I don't know because I don't know the English names of all to these characters. But uh, you mean the one that always has the lucky dime, right? No, I mean Scrooge has the lucky dime. Like there's there's one guy in the in the show who I wasn't really familiar with, but I mean he's a, a comics character. In fact, I think he was the the duck that was in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with Donald. Yeah, the it, the cousin. And in the Donald's cousin. Yeah, and the in the new Ducktales show, he like he he like he's like almost cursed with good luck. Yeah. Uh, like it just like is in, incessant. I gotta find the name of uh, Fantonal then. <laughs> like, literally everything he does, there's just, like, a $20 bill, like, you know. Oh, this is, this is like, a 2D level. Uh, I, I don't have any thoughts on Phantom Duck. <laughs> Phantom Duck. Uh, <laughs> so, in English, he was called the Duck Avenger, but he okay, rarely I, showed up in America. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know it from any of the shows. This is what he looks like. 
Uh, there's oh, two dollars wow. from Yo Yo Yoshio saying, "I love this game as a kid. This is bringing back many early PC gaming memories. Playing this game with a keyboard. I never uh, see anyone talk about the PS2 version, which was practically a different game with many enhancements. Yes, definitely worth trying. It was also on GameCube. The PS2 version is very different. It's been rebalanced. A lot of the stages are reworked. Uh, it's a really good game. That's, um, that's that's the one to get. Um, well, I actually, Audi says that they're all kind of worth getting because they're, they're kind of different. Yeah, I I have a complete collection of this, <laughs> like, project, uh, and I think they're all interesting. The only one to kind of, I wouldn't say skip, but the Dreamcast version, the Dreamcast version is very similar to the N64 version and doesn't really improve anything. It's a little bit sharper, but overall, if you have the N64 version, um, you can kind of skip that. It has uh, FMV sequences, though. Rather Dreamcast than... version? Yeah. So the, um, you also, I, I was looking for it all week, um, you, but never found it. You were, you were, uh, you introduced me to the, um, the, uh, last time you were here, you introduced me to the idea of the, there being this, um, I, I, I don't know if they're, they're part of the same multimedia project, the GBA and Game Boy Color one, but like yeah, there's a Game yeah. Boy Color, I th what is it, Game Boy, the Game Boy Color one is called Going Quackers, and then the, yeah. is that right? Yeah, yeah. And right. then the GBA one is just called Donald Duck Advance, yeah. and they're very, you, they're very much based, I, I tried, uh, I think I, I think I tried the, the GBA one on either Mr. or an EverDrive, I forget, mm -hmm. but, um, it's, uh, they're, they're sort of in the style of, like, the Sega, uh, like the Game Gear and Master System games, which yeah, I love. Yeah, so, because, like, you know, I think it was very common back then to just kind of assume that, like, the handle versions were just worse. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance version of this game are both similar, like, in... In execution, similar to the Master System games, they're not as good as the Master System games, but they're very similar, and both of them individually uh, good in their own right. Mm -hmm. So it's Donald Duck Advance, and then uh, Donald Duck Going Quackers on Game Boy Color. So if you see those games, do pick them up. You don't see them commonly at all, though. I found a box copy at Game Swap yeah. uh, here in North Carolina. So uh, yeah, I mean. Every single version of this game is worth picking up and playing. Uh, let's see here. You guys, uh, there's some people saying that Jack and Daxter One is the, one of the best platformers of all time. Oh, uh, it, I, I mean, I, I, I think it's one of the best 3D platformers for sure. Yeah. Um, I, I, I've not I mean, played. I don't agree with that, but at least that I've played. It's it's it is really really good. Um, so, but neither of us have played like Beyond all the way first. through either of the sequels, right? Yeah. No, I've played maybe an hour or so of the second game, and I I've barely booted up the third. I don't like the characters, but that's me. Uh, I mean, at the time the at the time the first game came out, the characters worked for me. Daxter is. Definitely of a of an older uh, of, of of a cartoon character style that I've moved past. Yeah. I, I would say for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, at the time, I really liked them. Um, I love that he grabs his hat when he falls in there, <laughs> yeah. uh, or when he goes into the portal. Um, Retro Morgan's asking Audie if you can uh, recommend any more good obscure 16-bit game co-op games more uh did i recommend any other wait what um uh, recommend can you recommend oh. any more good obscure jurassic park i game? guess that was i was just wondering if i had said something earlier yeah you mentioned uh, sky blazer that's not co-op though oh co-op yeah <laughs> did i buy any co-op games this weekend uh, i don't know i think you i think you like it lonely <laughs> Let's see. When I was young, one one co-op game that isn't like immediately apparent that it's co-op is a, a Bimini Run, yeah. or Bimini Run mm -hmm. for the uh, the Genesis, where one person can drive the boat and the other person can shoot. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, uh, you know, you know, a game that I I uh, thought was interesting 
it's um it's a brawler on Super Famicom. And I've not played much of it, but it's it feels like I don't Super Famicom bra good Super Famicom brawlers I feel like are Hard to come by compared to maybe Genesis. Nah, I, I disagree with the statement. But, There's a ton of good brawlers. Okay, well, I, I, I've just not played a lot, but but I, I really like the mechanics of um, it's, it's Ghost something. I forget the full name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not. It's like Ghost Chaser, but there's a different game on Super Famicom also called Ghost Chaser Dungeon Mikami yeah. or whatever. But this is different. It's 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 not unrelated to that. So it's not dungeon. Uh, oh no! Well, it's, it's not the the you know the one with the lady. It's not that. Okay, not the one with the. Oh, you're talking about gourmet, but uh, 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 I have it on my shelf. Let okay. So I think see. you're confusing two games. But anyways, <laughs> while he's gone, uh, if you want to go obscure, there's a good. Uh, there's one called Da Tonosama, which is a Sunsoft Super Famicom game. It's basically Pocky and Rocky combined with Choaniki. So if you want to go real obscure, go for Da Tono Sama. This one. Yeah, so this is this is a uh, dungeon ghost chaser. This is a good one. Yeah. But there's also Gourmet Para Yaru, or whatever it's called, uh, which is another good beat em up. That's two player. Okay. It was released as Gourmet Warriors by uh, Pico. If you want to get a cartridge of that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, that one's not. This one's not cheap. If you want to go obscure on well, obscure, I and mean, it wasn't obscure at all. The one uh, co-op game I, I still like on PlayStation is Loaded. I think Loaded is an underrated. Is 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 that the over? That's the overhead mm -hmm. like super violent. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I played a little bit of that. Uh, it's a fun enough. Recently, I forget why. It's a fun enough co-op. Yeah. But that's that's very two bit. So I'm kind of straying away. Um, from your question. Um, other fun... I'm surprised how much of this is bit. 2D. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, like you said, it's like it's kind of, it's Guy Crash Bandicoot, where it's like yeah, yeah. 3D platform, but it's, it's practically... Maybe cool. Rayman 2 was similar. So I don't know Rayman 2 having all this I think 2D that had, segments. I think Rayman 2 had some 2D segments. But not... I mean, I, so far, two of the three levels I've played have been 2D. Uh, so the other one I mentioned is like D-A-E-A T-O-N-O-S-A-M-A -A. Um, I'm trying to think of other co-op like on top of my head, man uh, There's also Pirates of Dark Water, which is a brawler, which I think on Super Nintendo is pretty fun um, Look at that lens flares! That's baked in, though. It's not real. <laughs> I love it, though. I, it's I, N64. N64 Lens Flare, Flare is... It's the best. Yeah. Oh, man. Mmm. 16-bit. I like all these, like, sort of... Like, Firefly-ish particles or whatever. Mm. I'm gonna actually look up my own collection here. I'm cheating a bit because I'm sure people like me. I didn't me. realize at first I could actually just jump on enemies. I think people like me coming up with things on top of my head, but I'm gonna look at the games I have uh, and see if I can find you a good 16 bit co op game to suggest. Um, I know it's uh, riveting seeing people look at their phone on streams. But it's for your own best. If you want fun sports games uh, for co-op, uh, Do Lucky, which uh, was made by um, Zoom, the same people who did Zero Delight on PlayStation. Do Lucky has like a baseball game and a soccer game, and those are really fun, like competitive uh, or co-op. So those you can also get. But let me see if I can find any other. This is like this, like late '90s, early 2000s. Ubisoft was like actually good. Yeah. 
Oh, I forgot that Final Fantasy VI had a two-player mode. Oh, yeah! yeah. That's true. Uh, me and my friends, and if I re recall, we never figured out how to make it work, though. We tried. Oh, 16-bit uh, co-op games. I have a perfect one. I don't know. Uh, why didn't I think of this? Uh, so, Magical Quest, starring Nicky Mouse. Oh, Dallas. of course. Uh, the third game in that series had Donald Duck in it. And it is a fantastic co-op game. Mm -hmm. It's an incredible Super Famicom game. It came out in Game Boy Advance in English, but much later. Much later. Um, but uh, Magical Quest Three, which I think is called Mickey to Donald, uh, that is like incredible. Me and John actually did a uh, yeah. DF Retro play on that. But if you want to get like, people always bring up like World of Illusion on Genesis. Which is a fantastic co-op game. It's good, but it, it mechanically not... Mechanically a little <laughs> shaky. Yeah, in places, I, think. I mean, it, it's just a beautiful game, and it's fun. But I think mm. that Magical Quest Three takes everything that World of Illusion wanted to do and just makes it five mm. times better. Now, now uh, Magical, or, uh, Great Cir Magical Quest Two, a.k.a. Great Circus Mystery, is, is also very good. Yeah, very it's a co-op co game as well. Very similar to... to um, Magical Quest 3, but Magical Quest 3 is better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, very similar, but they're both very much worth playing. Yeah. This is only the first world in this, right? Yep. There's three level... No, wait. Okay, so yeah, I got a 3D level again here now. Yeah, yeah. And there's a boss battle per world. Right, I, I should okay. be coming across the boss battle. Yeah. There's also chase sequences in this game, which is kind of reminiscent of Mickey Mania. I've not oh, played much Mickey Mania. I, I couldn't get into the mechanics of it last time I tried it. You should play it on Sega CD. That's the best version of but it. But is, is, is the gameplay of that is the same as the cart version, right? Well, which cart version? Uh, Genesis. Oh, okay. You play on Genesis? Yeah, so that's the tightest one. I mean, the Super Nintendo version of that is garbage. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, the Sega CD version is similar to Genesis, but it's fantastic music. Yeah, I've, I've never... I, 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 I don't remember why. Like, I wanted to like that game, but I play, I try it's, it, and I'm just like, I don't know. So it's not perfect by any means. I mean, it's honestly, in some cases, Mickey Mania is bad. Um, but it's a fun game, nonetheless. I like it. Is, is it. is it technically rather anemic? It is technically rather anemic. I mean... It's it's getting expensive though now that version specifically. Oh really? I, I remember that that's like one of the few Genesis games I remember seeing like because that's the one that starts out in black and white, right? Yep. Right. Yeah, right. That, that's, that, that's um, it's one of the few Genesis games like I actually remember seeing at like a friend's house or it wasn't really a friend's house, but you know, I remember seeing it at someone's house. <laughs> I mean. Um... Mickey Mania actually got a PlayStation release in Europe called Mickey's Wild Adventures. Which, Wet and Wild Adventures. Yeah. And uh, there is a ROM hack that converts that to, like, native NTSC. So if you have a X station, you can put mm -hmm. Mickey Mania on your PlayStation. So wait, you're saying that's a port or a sequel? It's a port. Okay. But it's uh, a little bit cleaner. It has... So basically, that has the color palette of the Super Nintendo version, but a little bit enhanced. Mm -hmm. And the music and such from Sega CD, so it's kind of like the best version. But you said that the Super Nintendo version had like bad mechanics or something, right? Well, the Super Nintendo version lacks content and the controls are like broken on it. Okay. Yeah. Does the PlayStation version fix that? Yeah, so the PlayStation version fixes that, but it was only PAL, so until that ROM hack came out, you know, it ran slower. But now there is an NTSC version via a ROM hack that you can put on your X station. So to get Final Fantasy VI co-op, you have to go to the configure to the config options and scroll down the menu and set it to do play. Yeah, I remember doing that back in the day with a friend, and it didn't seem to work the way we expected it to. Oh, it says, yeah, I guess you said whatever mean, character if you want them as a second player to control. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this was. 20 plus years ago. <laughs> so. Yeah. Goop Troop was a. with a friend who was. 
Oh yeah, I, want, I really want to play, th- play through that. Uh, I, I've got it. John John's bought a that. yeah he yeah. bought a boxed goof troop. Uh, uh, for us was or two days ago. Yeah, for very little. Goof troop. When I uh, met uh, when I met Shinji Mikami uh, a couple of years ago, um, I'm not much like I when I meet these people I generally don't bother to them too much. Like I'm not a starstruck kind of guy. But uh, I had a chance to like kind of have a conversation with Mikami because he was just hanging out drinking at this uh, party, and I was like, "Well, I really like Goof Troop, so <laughs> I, w- I just wanted to let him know that you know I'm a big fan of Goof Troop." So I went up to him and I let him know that, and he was his eyes lit up. It was like Goof Troop, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then John came over as well because I, you know, I singled John over to introduce him to Mikami. And I was like, he's also a Goof Troop fan. He's like, whoa, all the Goof Troop fans are, like, here, assembled. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> is, uh, um, is the Japanese, is it called Goof Troop in Japan? Yeah. Okay. So he was the designer of that. Yeah. Was that, was that his, was Aladdin his first game? Yeah, Aladdin is his first game. Oh, Super Nintendo Aladdin. I yeah. guess I didn't get the yeah. boss. The best Aladdin. Thing in this level. Yeah. Is it the and gold Goof thing? Is the yeah, gold thing? Was his follow up to that? Goof Troop was follow up after you, Aladdin, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. I wonder how I missed it. it those those items, the boss items, are just sitting in the level, right? They're not like. I don't have to like fulfill some criteria. Nope. They're just to be found. That was a very quickly dropped hot take about SNES Aladdin. Oh, the the Mega Drive or the Genesis version is like not very good in my opinion. Yeah. The controls are floaty. The game level design is garbage, and uh, don't really like the music much either. To be honest, I think like the Genesis uh, Aladdin is famous for good reasons yeah. for the animations absolutely and uh, it looks fantastic for a genesis game um but everything else i don't think really <laughs> works in its favor whereas the super <laughs> nintendo aladdin is a perfectly balanced and really fun platformer it from is. a golden age of capcom creating disney licensed games so anyone who thinks that the genesis version is better they grew up with it and it's just one of those yeah. things. I, I really want to play through the Genesis one someday, but every time I try it, I'm just like, mm, I don't know. Mm. It's, uh, <laughs> it, you know, I, I, I'm glad. It, it, it feels like the feel feels like SNES Aladdin fans are starting to stick up for themselves. <laughs> oh, they should. More these they should all... Because I feel like for the longest time, mm-hmm. like it was just a foregone conclusion that the Genesis one was better. And because it's... people, more people grew up with it. And uh, I mean, yeah. I understand that. Did they, did more people grow up with it? it? Was it even the packing at some I point? I mean, probably oh, at, the, it, it, at the time, it looked more impressive. Yeah. Oh, it absolutely looks. I mean, I I do really appreciate the. Uh, the the artwork in it, it's, it does look fantastic, and that's the main reason I do want to play through. I'll tell you what, though, that Game Gear Aladdin oh. Master System, yeah, yeah, that's really impressive. Uh, that in, in gym right there. The yeah. technical uh, technical level, I find it more interesting than the Genesis one. The Genesis one, Genesis one, just has good. Uh, it, it it just has good sprite work and really good fluid animations. But the Master System and, and Game Gear one is like technically very much more interesting looking, in my opinion, just as a yeah. video game. Now there is something unsaid about all this, and that it slaps on the slide. <laughs> <laughs> you can play both games and have fun whichever way you want. Mm. So you know, if you want to play Aladdin, Gen- and now there's even the collection. I mean, it's um, yeah. And they just added the Super Nintendo. They added the Super Nintendo game. You got paid t- pay ten dollars with if you have the original version though. Yeah, yeah. but I, I, I just Jungle bought it. Book and that. I bought it on cartridge with like Jungle Book and whatnot. Oh okay. Yeah. I so. was talking about like the digital eclipse. Wait, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a good Jungle Book game? Not really. I didn't it's think another so. Dave Perry joint. I don't think Dave Perry could really design a good game for no. <laughs> life. I, that's. I, I hate to say it, but I mean that's that's kind of my take too. I I don't I don't like 
how the animation, how, how the control, the animation work takes priority over controls and also, um, there's the boss icon, uh, also level readability, like just level design readability, like oh, what, what can I stand on? What, uh, you know, how does this platform, like, where is it? Where does it begin and where is it end? You know. Now, if you want a real hot take, I'll give you one. I think Earthworm Jim is a piece of shit. I, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't use those same words, <laughs> but I don't own a copy of the game for a reason. I, I don't enjoy it. I, I think both Earthworm Jim games. Oh, I'm mean, there's a third one too. By the way, I mean, you know, John likes them. You've record content. No, on I actually talked to John about this a lot. And John has nostalgia for it, but he does recognize that like basically only a couple levels work and the rest is like just garbage mm -hmm. like it's just a, it's a badly designed game with a wonderful character that's uh, ruined by its creator but like the best earth and gym ever is the cartoon the cartoon series hmm. er earthworm 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 gym Welcome to Earth. Yeah. I mean, I remember friends uh, either renting it or maybe they owned it. I can't remember. Uh, this. Oh man, I love this. How this looks with the lens flare. Mhm. Mm you like that lens flare, don't you? <laughs> this game has really <laughs> nice looking lens flare. I gotta say. Whoa. Try has an almost encyclopedic knowledge of. Lens flares. <laughs> of lens flares. <laughs> uh, I wish I did. Uh, That's an episode. I, I've I've long wanted to make an episode. That's one like you get. That. You know what? Like I, what, you should team up with John. I I, 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 we, we, I feel like we may have even talked about that yeah. at some point. You know uh, he did the he did the um, best water. water best water. water and we've been talking about doing best weather effects together, <laughs> but you need to do the best lens flare. Yeah. I mean I I you know I feel like. I've forgotten about a lot of great ones, mm. but, uh, like, my mind always goes to N64. Like, I, I guess because it was, like, where I was introduced to the idea. You know what, though? It's, um, I think it's, uh, uh, uh Gandari, Goemon, Kira Kira, whatever. The fourth one, it's not numbered four, but it's, it's the fourth. Oh, no! I think that's the first time I've died. Um... Uh, the fourth going on game on Super Famicom. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually has lens flare like in uh, one or two of the levels. Yeah. Uh, I I can't think of any like six any other like eight or sixteen bit game where I've seen that. Oops, I thought what was it. Like, can you think of another like eight or sixteen bit game with lens flare? I feel like one of the Donkey Kongs maybe had that. Donkey Kong Country? Yeah. An 8 or 16 bit game with Bones Flare. Mm -hmm. um, I can't think of a moment that would have had that off the top of my head. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm sure there is. I mean, it I, feels I, like I something Rare would have done. It does. <laughs> Dang it, I. I don't know what. Oh, man, he's like, just like rubbing. Yeah. <laughs> rubbing me up his butt. That's guy yeah, gross. I'm going right up there. Um, um I, I keep thinking he's going ground pound fewer times than he does. Can you go back the other way when he, he's going to like jump on you? <laughs> giving you the old bow angles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, giving you the old bow jangles. Uh, stunt race effects have lens have did stunt race effects have lens flares and uh, maybe did Star Fox? Yeah, I could see that being like Star Fox sixty four most definitely has a pretty elaborate uh, yeah. lens flare like right in, yeah. on like the with one dollar says that Reform Jim on the SNES has a lens flare. Oh really? Uh, okay, okay. I'm sure John could would not forget that. Yeah. yeah, we should do a video like that. That would be fun. These these boss battles, I don't know why, but they remind me of knights. Oh yeah, man, I, on a much smaller scale. Yeah, I, I honestly don't remember any boss battles in knights. 
Really? Right. I mean, I, I mean, I, re I remember them existing. Yeah. Now I always have a bit of an issue here. That that ghost has no transparency. Mmm. It doesn't really sell it. I'll admit. Ooh. Billy Hatcher looks worse than I remember. Billy Hatcher looks awesome. That Billy Hatcher is like one of the last Sega games to have the Billy Sega H. Blue. It has like that distinct Sega Blue color on the sky. And yes, Quackshot is a work of art. Quackshot is one of the best Genesis games ever made. I love Quackshot. Yes. yes same. Mm -hmm. I was very impressed. Really, I've really messed Sonic up during this oh, stream. Chris Cole <laughs> says it was a joke about the boss. <laughs> uh, Kinko Zero is, is asking, when are we going to stream Klonoa? Yeah. Um, um, probably after. I, I'm, I'm working on a video, uh, not for our channel, but for, uh, for DF, with a, a collab, hmm. I guess. Probably after that video is done. Yeah. Oh, so if you rescue all the toys, the nephew lets you go into that? What's what, Is that like an extra level or something? Mm -hmm. Like, is there anything useful in it? Oh, usually, is it yeah. just for fun? Yeah. Just 100%. My copy from... Uh, I got it from Amazon UK, and it showed up on, thir on Wednesday? Mm. That, 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 that hat double jump really is great. Just yeah. look at that. It's, it's just such joy. He grabs that when he's... Yeah. <laughs> you know, these, these enemies that I'm, like, punching, like, that just look like normal ducks or dogs. Like, they, they, they don't, they kind of just look like they're going about their business, really. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, is that behind glass? Only Howard the Duck got a game. We would be praising that masterpiece. I think there is a Howard the Duck game on Commodore 64. Oh, wow. oh really? Mm -hmm. I think so. Oh, no. Uh, I feel this. I had, uh, had a soft spot for that movie. Oh, uh, same. Yeah, I don't think it was. I didn't think it was bad at all. Uh, it's not great, but I do like it yeah. for my I mean, it's own like, reasons. It's, it's a little weird. Yeah. I, I like how this level like kind of curves upward, like it's uh -huh. it's almost got like it a inverse a... planetoid yeah, sort yeah. of it thing going on. Interesting perspective. It has the one guy. Who's the one guy from? It's the guy from uh, um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Principal <laughs> okay. Rooney, right? Yeah. Is Rooney in that? In Howard the Duck. Yeah. He's yeah. also in uh, in Clue. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what his name is. I, I want to say Martin Mull, but I know it's not Martin Mull. Uh, no, I don't think it's Martin Mull. No, it's I can't remember what his name is. Oh, he, and he is a Beatles. Wasn't right. Martin Mull and Sabrina? Teenage uh, Witch? No. I think so. Martin Mull's the guy with the, uh, the mustache. Yeah, I think he was in Sabrina. I don't know why I know that. Because I actually never really watched that. Ben Stein? It's, it's not Ben Stein. No. I remember watching the Howard the Duck movie, the one two punch with the uh, first Return of the Living Dead. Oh! I mean. Yeah, that's a good movie. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Jones, that's it. That. Yeah. I'm guessing I never like go inside like doors. What is uh, that? You don't go inside doors, but there are secrets. Right. Like, yeah. is that a secret? Or is mm -hmm. that just scenery? I don't know. Oh, wait, that's the. The checkpoint robot? Mm -hmm. What? I didn't realize how close to 11 it is. More 
has like duck feet with a robot head on it. <laughs> More machine than duck. <laughs> like the 3D levels have a very narrow sort of range that you can go left and right. But you know th this this game very I mean the C buttons don't do anything. Like this game very much eliminates the need for having like a you know a complex camera management system. I mean ca camera angles were you know kind of the chief technical com uh, complaint yeah. of this generation. Yeah, really yeah. the following generation. Um, oftentimes I felt like I, I, I'm pretty lenient on that, mm -hmm. to be honest. But a lot, it's a big, it was a big sticking point for a lot of people and probably still is. Yeah. Ooh, what's, oh, that's the checkpoint robot. They're, they're kind of a little further off the path. Uh, so I don't... I'm, I'm always looking at them and like, what? Is that something special? Uh, Replicant813 is asking if I ended up seeing Top Gun Maverick. And I did. I thought it was really good. Yeah. Uh... Much, much better than the than the original. Not that it, not that I don't like the original, but you know, it was it was all right when it came out, but I didn't feel like it was that great. Revisiting it, yeah, There's just like not much to it. <clears throat> to it. Hmm. Uh, but Maverick, like it's 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 really good. Like the uh, the actual flying stuff is really really well done because yeah. they you know all the actors were in the plane doing it. It's, it's pretty impressive. A lot more happens in it than the, than the original. Aren't you happy you got this game? Yeah, this is uh, quite a quite a pleasant little jaunt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many worlds are there? The the five I think the the initial area shows four teleportals yeah. so yeah I was I was figuring it would expand by at least one beyond that mm. so it seems like it'll be uh there's unless they start becoming more like I guess it's four levels per world mm. so it seems pretty uh, pretty simple are, is the are are they I, I guess I'll see if like the the nephews in each world um, like like are they gonna have like a, yeah they have a stage like okay. Webby or something instead of the nephews for the oh so have... that's a, that's electric even if how am I gonna there's a way well I know there's a way <laughs> but what is it? Hmm. Wow. <laughs> the Z button doesn't actually do anything. It's a very simple game. The, the, like, the R button brings up, like, the things you've collected. Otherwise, it's just A and B, which, you know what? I respect. You know, it would be... Like, among, like, like, worthless skills that I wish I could have, it would be good for, like, a party trick. I wish I could do, like, a perfect Donald Duck voice. <laughs> like, that'd be pretty... Near the top of things. That well, I wish I one of one of my favorite random Whenever. factoids is that you know I I, I mean this is just something I read on Wikipedia, but the composer for Alundra and Gravity Rush is apparently really good at doing a Donald Duck voice, and has apparently been asked by the Japanese voice of Donald Duck to be his successor if like something happened if if he dies. Wow. Wait, who? The the composer for Alundra and Gravity Rush. <laughs> I forget his name. Dang. Uh, but, but that's uh. I mean, it's a huge honor, isn't it? Huh? That's a huge honor. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I wonder if he actually will be the successor. I mean, that was a while back. I read that. I mean, I for all I know, the guy that does Donald Duck. Uh, <laughs> he already does. Could have. I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't keep tabs on the I mean, you know, Japanese that, Disney cast. If you have that gig, you're set for life. You know, you have a oh, life, yeah. you know, you have a gig for life there. 
You never have to change jobs. Did I get the... Did I even get the... I didn't get the boss item here. No. Hmm. Seems it would be a waste to leave the level without that. <laughs> Forever Lawrence says, I bet Alexa could do the voice. Ah! Could try it. Say, Alexa... Do I mean, I, I have no idea how robust Alexa is. That echo? Oh, there it is. Can you talk like Donald Duck? Alexa, Echo? Can you talk like Donald Duck? <laughs> I, I feel he's asking so earnestly. Uh, sorry, I'm not sure. Oh. Technology, you know, so advanced yet but, so but, limited. But Alexa can part 24 times. Yeah. She can! That was a crispy one. That was a crispy part. <laughs> See, there you go. Did you have some fun with uh, with Alexa farts uh, while you were? Uh, What's going to be a Beagle Boy boss? Mm -hmm. We were uh, driving. No, I mean, like, or when he was driving. over at your house. Oh, for for eight hours, and on the ride back, we just like Alexa did different parts <laughs> on the, on the phone for eight hours straight. In the car. He uh, uh, he said he he played uh, a game with you on the way. Uh, doing a bunch of different, um, trying to see if you could uh, oh, name like, a bunch yeah. of music, uh, video game music tracks. Yeah. And uh, he That's said you got good. maybe about 25%. I feel like I did much worse. Uh, you, know, he, you know, it was a lot of like obscure Mega Drive and yeah, yeah. shooters and stuff. Oh, did he do that? He did it for you too? Yeah. Even when he got on Super Nintendo though, he was asking him some pretty obscure stuff that I didn't have yeah. a lot of experience with. I, um, I got I, mean, I got a few I though. Good. I think that he was surprised when there's certain ones that I like knew right away. Yeah. That he wouldn't expect me to know. You know, that, like, like Burning Force. He's like, oh, you got that one right away. <laughs> That's good music, though. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got Stunt Race FX. That was probably the fastest one I got. <laughs> is this running through the retro tank? Someone's asking. It is. Uh, this in sixty four. This is actually my uh, my. Um, this is my N sixty four that has a uh, ultra HDMI in my. Um, my N64 digital system is downstairs. But yeah, it is just running through the retro tank. It could be direct capture HDMI, but since I was playing Hook on SNES earlier, it was just easiest to stick with RGB. What's what's really cool about uh, the retro tank though, like if you like so this this um uh the is it must be at the end of this. There it is. So I don't know if it would work well or not with this game's resolution. Um, but it, so the, the D, it's a it's a old a very old D blur mod in this uh, in this system. Mm -hmm. On the retro tank, if you do the so in sixty four pixel aspect ratio is actually like so close to square that it. It's okay to display it with square pixels. That's why D Blur works with uh, the 320 pixel white games. I'm not sure if this is a 320 pixel white game or not. But um, I was really surprised if you have an RGB mod without D Blur, which most of the ones you would get today would support it. Uh, but you can. I, where is it in the new menu? Uh, is it in interpreter? Scaling. Or do you know where the H? Oh, here H sampling. Duh. So if you do the N sixty four three twenty, I I don't know. Oh, we got try up in the camera again. <laughs> Second time today. Yeah. It might be be blurring correctly, but it's. Uh, but see, I just have on generic 4.3 now. Uh, but see, well, I'll, I'll leave it on because I think it, I think it works for this game from what I can see on OBS here. I think. 
So I'll just leave it on there for today. Why? Why not? Uh, you you guys will get the joy of Dibor. Um But yeah, it's um, it's it's I it's identical to actual D Blur in terms of just the the quality of it. Oh wow. Uh, when you do the optimized sampling. Normally I don't do optimized sampling because I prefer a more accurate aspect ratio. Um, but uh, for N64 and Neo Geo, uh, they are both so close to a square pixel aspect ratio on a CRT that you, you it, it's it's fine. It's fine to use uh, both optimized sampling or deblur or whatever. Um, but you know, my, my my hot take is that generic Fort Three is the way to go on the retro tank. It's not only easier, it's more accurate, and it still looks quite sharp. Some people are asking why we're not playing Hook. Maybe you should uh, bring new viewers up to speed. I beat Hook. The end. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Finished it already, so... Uh, it, it wasn't that long. I mean, it only took you a little bit over an hour, right? Yeah. Think, right? K Kaylee Gamer is saying, is AT Alias and Kelsey the N64 VR? I, I am... I very much believe that anti-aliasing is overall a plus for the N64. It's... It's the... Um, it's... It's the... It's the... The... Uh, it's the extra blur. You know, D-Blur does not get rid of the anti-aliasing. It's the extra blur that is kind of detrimental to N64. Um, but the anti-aliasing is good. You know, there's the whole thing where you use G game shark codes or patches on a flash cart to get rid of the anti-aliasing. But I think it's a mistake. I think the anti-aliasing actually complements it quite well. It was very advanced for the time. I mean... It's um, it's it's an effect that really kind of went away. None of its competitors were doing it. There is a flicker filter on um, GameCube and Xbox, uh, most GameCube and Xbox games, but it's not true anti-aliasing, like not in the modern sense. Like there's actually like, you know, mathematical calculations going on here on N64. I really like how the fog effect, like, kind I mean, of... like doing that, like, like he's really trying to poop there. <laughs> I like how the, like, the color tone of the beams is very red in the front, and, like, the it kind of has this greenish tint as it gets further away. I mean, I don't know, just kind of a cool color scheme, I guess. Um, but yeah, so what I've given you guys is D-Blur via optimized sampling on the retro tape. But uh, we still got anti-aliasing, of course, and I, I feel very strongly that's how, how N64 should be. Um, now, there are times where D-Blur, I think, is to the detriment. Um, because, uh, uh, like, a lot of times certain text, like, I, I always like to use GoldenEye as the example. Um, some text... I think it looks a lot more readable with with the normal natural blur. Uh, Adi, do you? I mean, you know, you we have to wake up to get you to the train station tomorrow. I, I could go either way. You want me to do another level or two, or should we? Since it's, it's eleven o'clock, should we call it now? I can go a bit more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one more level. I'm I'm fading too. I'm just <laughs> like like I said after after yesterday driving back. That's a whirlwind couple of days, I guess. Yeah, yeah I mean, you... Kind of the power, and I'm just like, I fell asleep real early last night, but I'm, like, looking forward to getting another good night's sleep tonight. Yeah, I mean, I, I slept really good last night, too, but mm -hmm. I've, I've felt good all of these days. Uh, I mean, it's, it's been a, you know, uh, you know, Audi has been around since Friday last week, you know. Yeah. Boom! Well, about half of that time we were here, and half of that time we were up in Raleigh. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, so I've I've been quite busy every day, whether it was doing work or <laughs> doing uh, um, uh, game shopping <laughs> or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so, but I know I've I've actually felt quite good. Yeah. It's Except for good. when I didn't have 
have my bidet away from home. I didn't feel good about that. Yeah, it's hard to leave your bidet. <laughs> it's like, you know, people talking about, like, oh, I've been gone for my kids for a week, or I've been gone for my dog. <laughs> But I always like <laughs> lean over to my lady and it's like, man, I missed the bidet. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just like uh, I I should probably get them installed in the guest bathrooms. <laughs> oh, I would uh, very much appreciate that. <laughs> I'll, uh, I mean, they're like they're like I mean, last time I mean, the one I got is like thirty five bucks on Amazon. I mean, oh, it's a you know they're, they're cheap and. It, they change your life. Yeah, it's a lifelong convenience for only a few dollars. So. Power up. <laughs> yep. Power <laughs> up your life. Have you powered up your toilet still, Corey? Corey has thought about no. it, but I don't think he's done I, it yet. I yeah, thought you, about you it. You've never tried it. No. You refuse to try in Japan. I refuse to try in Japan until like the last two days. And you know, I, I ran into a situation in the bathroom that made me realize, you know what? I have a tool at my disposal that that can make this situation much less grim. Oh, it changes you. It, it makes life better. It makes food taste better. <laughs> you know, you get better friends from it. Like, <laughs> I really think that everyone should invest into a bidet. I, I strongly believe so, too. And I find it, like, being a European, I find that there's this strange kind of, not even a misconception, but just a resistance from mm. Americans. Well, I, I, I felt that way, it. too. Yeah, it's just like, are you, I think people feel like I'm, in, like, are you insinuating that my butt's not clean already? And it's like, no, it's just that it can always be more clean. <laughs> and you can always be more comfortable you, doing. You, when you try it for the first time, yeah. like, it, it, it will feel uncomfortable, but then, like, the second time it feels fine. No, for me, it was like a hug the very first time. <laughs> I mean, it's, but you will immediately realize, like, I, I've i never felt so clean in oh, my entire life. Yeah, it, it, it literally changes your perception of life itself. <laughs> like, it, uh, you know, it's just, people just need to understand that. You have to trick yourself into liking it from the sound of it. No, not at all. It, no. It comes naturally. <laughs> Dingus Gert says, toilet paper for life. I mean, I it's still wasteful. use. I still yeah. use toilet paper. You still paper. have to use toilet paper. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't sit there and flush your butt out. Like that's not how it works it at needs, all. I mean, it, I mean, it, you need to feel dry right. afterwards. You, you just sit down, like turn it on as you go. That does, that's not how it works. Like, no, like it's there to assist you to make things better, to make I, things cleaner. I, I, I have found that like if something's like you know, like. It's got to come out, but it's not coming out. Like, sometimes it helps shake it a little bit loose, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, mean, I mean... It's helpful in so many ways. I mean, it's a helping hand in a time of need. <laughs> yes, yeah. it, it is. It's like, would you rather, like, you know, pull it out, or would you just flush it out? Obviously, you flush it out. Alright. <laughs> so, I, I don't understand why people are so like gung-ho about like no i cannot like i can't use a bidet it's like you never used it most likely <laughs> but it's like getting a dog you know it's like if you don't have a dog it's like ah oh, it's gonna like shed all over it's gonna be oh, i gotta walk it every day oh man it's like it's gonna drool and smell bad and then the first day you have the dog it's like man i can't live without you I like, can't. I cannot live without you. Yeah, come <laughs> here you walking toilet oh come here Oh, say goodbye to the stream. Now yeah, look, look at Corey up there. You see Corey up there? Yeah, she sees her. Yeah. She misses uh, Corey chasing her around the house. Stubby little legs. <laughs> yeah, she does have stubby legs. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that'll do it. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, thanks to everybody who donated this week. Yeah. And I hope I hope that everybody has a fantastic week ahead of them. Yeah. And that uh, nothing happens in your life that will cause you to be going quackers. Unless it is plain Donald Duck going quackers. Yeah. I hope you quack attack something rather than going quackers. Wow. Exactly. But yeah, it was fun being here as always. I'm sure this will be... More, thing, uh, yeah, just more regular 
climbing up as I'm moving here, but um, you know, any anytime you invite me over, I really appreciate it. It's a wonderful community, it's a wonderful fan base, and you are wonderful people. So I really enjoy being here. All right. Yeah, it's always fun having you. Yeah. And uh, good night. See you next Sunday. <laughs>